Talk Radio. First World Order Radio, finally, finally, we are on the air, no doubt. All right, all right. There's always going to be somebody in the building on First World Order Radio. We get on into some of that order consciousness tonight. Yeah. First World Order Radio every Wednesday, 8 p.m. We got to talk about what is taking place on the planet. There's always going to be somebody in the building on First World Order Radio. First, we need to let you know we're going to be doing more shows, giving out more information on Wednesdays. Wednesday is 8 o'clock. We are now going to make this is the hottest day of the week. Proceeding levels in time, order, and importance. The most prominent parts, voices, or instruments. Earthly state of human concerns and existence. An indefinite multitude, quantity, or distance. System regulates to bring about specifics in the group based on value with natural characteristics. Current radiates electromagnetistics of sound through the air, same as your thoughts transmits it. Proceeding levels in time, order, and importance. The most prominent parts, voices, or instruments. Earthly state of human concerns and existence. An indefinite multitude, quantity, or distance. System regulates to bring about specifics in the group based on value with natural characteristics. Current radiates electromagnetistics of sound through the air, same as your thoughts transmits it. You need to understand how magical this, uh, something like this every Wednesday can become. So you need to start uh, getting your calendar right, get your schedule, your schedule right. You need to know our intention straight out. All right, so, I mean, these clues are given throughout the various languages was to piece the puzzle of this ancient mystery school back together again. And what we plan on doing, both of us, is bringing y'all some surefire dynamite. We're going to take this level up a notch. We're going to have stuff to do here. This is not just going to be about philosophies and theories. Shit that works. You have an activated pipe man in which I produced this black chemical called melanin. We, what we did was gave a hard line in the sand between the different definitions of esoteric study and exoteric study. Playtime is over. Yes, it is. And right now, you are on the Aline Bay Show, right here at First World Order Radio. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Today has been a wonderful, productive day, and whew, I just can't wait to tell you about it. Okay, first of all, Brother Stacy from Detroit did the song, the sound bite at the beginning, and it's just magnificent, it's perfect, it's on point. The God is from Detroit, and he has a website, so his website is We make and then the number one we make one dot net and it can it's a conglomeration of his brother his divine brother and his sister yes and she's divine as well they make jewelry they make beads they add on they make one dot net so make sure you go see them there all right, I have a couple of announcements. I have so much stuff I want to tell y'all. But first off, I want to tell y'all that the First World Order Radio, not radio, but First World Order Book, you know what I mean? The First World Order Book is on sale. So for all y'all who is waiting for it to be on sale, it's on sale right now. It starts today. You are the first to hear it. It's sizzling right now. Go to the website, Dr. Aleem L. Bay. And for those of y'all who have not been there yet, I'm going to spell it for you. Get your pencils, get your papers, or press rewind. It's D R A L I M, as in mother. And then L. Bay. E L B as in born 
E as in equality, and then Y as in you. So that's D R A L I M E L B E Y dot com to get your book. And guess what? I forgot to tell you, it is fifty percent off. Yeah, that's exactly what you heard. It's fifty percent off. So that book that was a hundred dollars and has been a hundred dollars now for the last three years is now fifty dollars. And it will only be for five days. We're tapping into the feminine energy with this ritual. We're doing it because we have another announcement. Ikram, the indigenous cosmic golden way order of no deck. Yes, you definitely want to be an initiate in the indigenous cosmic golden way order of no deck. I had to tap into my ancient indigenous energy. My warrior energy, which is a chief. Yeah, so that's what y'all heard. But yes, it's Ikram for short. It's $144. And you and your mama, your sister, and your babies, they are all invited. And you know you got to bring the gods. I mean, the gods always come. <laughs> for all of y'all. All of y'all, every single body is invited. Now, y'all know the babies is free. Y'all know that. And they're going to have stuff to do. They're going to be doing numerology. They're going to be doing astrology. They're going to color my labyrinth so when they leave, they're still here. You know what I mean? Yeah, I need their energy still right here. And guess what? Right here is at 2188 White Oak Road. White Oak Road is two words. And that's 28448. Either you press wind, rewind, or I say it to you again. That's 2188 White Oak Road. That's in Cali, North Carolina. And that's 28448. We are going to have an amazing time adding on. See, when y'all come there with us, you're going to get some add-on. Period. Point blank. All right, let me tell you what else is in store. You bring yourself here. We're going to show you how to get some property for $500. Do you got $500? Are you tired of paying rent? And I'm telling you stuff that I've done. Not stuff that I've read about in the book. Because I've been seeing some delusional energy. You know what I mean? I'm talking about mother, matriarch, manifesting some material energy. Who am I? I don't even express who I was. I'm Dr. Eileen Melbay's divine mate. I'm the one who's in the background, and I don't mind. But today, I got to be here because the God is adding on. We are a little bit away from Wilmington. He'll be here shortly, but until then, go with me! I want to bring in on my co-host because we love Brother L. Brother L. Aha, I tell you, Washita East. I got it. Aha, I tell you, Washita East. Peace, guys. How you doing? I'm fine. Well. (laughs) Well. (laughs) You got some bad ones? Yeah, so you got the spirit really into you today. Please do. Oh, yeah, you really, yeah, okay, I can I, I, I feel it vibrating towards the phone, towards me. I know, right, the energy is high today, and see, the reason why it is is because we add on. When you add on, you ain't got no time for nothing else but the energy to be high, mm-hmm. you know? Right. I want to help y'all do it. Some of y'all are already adding on, that's beautiful. But for Good. those of y'all who are not adding on, I want to help you add on. Right. But I'm sorry, God. You said you had something to add on. <laughs> Outstanding. Yeah, you said five hundred uh, dollars for for a piece of land. Yeah, with some property to go with it. Oh yeah, that is. I that can't wait to good. tell you, but I can't tell y'all now. I cannot tell y'all now because y'all gotta come here to get okay. it, and that's what the one forty four is also gonna consist of. You're gonna okay. find out how you can stop paying rent. See, I need the spiritual people to be in a space where they free from the rent issue. You know what I mean? That 
sprint keep coming back every 30, 28 to 31 days. And it gets nerve-wracking, but if you can work smarter and harder, then why not? Mm-hmm. What do you think, God? Okay. Why not? Oh, oh, it's outstanding. Yeah. It's very outstanding. It is outstanding. Outstanding. Woo! <laughs> 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 I'm excited. Yeah. We are adding one. Here you're going to find um, the fish house. Yep, the fish house. We done dug some holes, and it's got some fish um, going to be put in there. I'm really excited. And they're going to be koi fish, and they're going to help with the aquaponics. Because I feel like we need to be experienced with that. I do want to do the solar energy because, you know, I think it'll be better than running it with the electricity. And then you're also going to see the silver dome. We, we call it the silver dome. It has been laced with electricity. I'm just so excited. All of that is getting ready. Y'all going to be able to see the blueberry patch. Y'all going to be able to see the watermelons that was planted from the last conference. The gods was eating watermelon and spritting out the seeds. And I saved them watermelon vines because I recognize them. And I'm so excited. Okay. So they growing. three of them. Then we got the grapevine. And then, you know, we're just making it perfect. Of course, you're going to be initiated into Ikram, you know, so you can begin to add on and get your schedules, your schedules right, you know, making yourself more powerful. So I'm just really excited. We do have a question, Brother L, but I wanted to make sure, I, you know, you added on before we took the question. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, you coming? What, what was I know you. I know it's short notice for you, and you didn't come to last one. I know but I, I think did, we're gonna take I, I, this. <laughs> I got to get myself right, you know, so I can get you no know, calm, you know. I know. Yeah, we gotta one. get you out of that rent race. Yeah, yeah, that's that's most definitely. Yeah, I want to see you out of that, God. We love you. Yeah, I want to see me out of that too. So yeah. uh, I'm gonna be working hard on that. Working hard on my, my only. Uh, the event uh, of, of the, uh, the June events, but also uh, in March, you know, to commemorate the, uh, uh, the, the, the equinox as well as the summer solstice, and to be initiated to the order of the Mechizedek order. You know, so I'm working on all that. I know I'm great, great, because I know. I um, thought about it. Okay, good, 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 good. This one's us going to be, it's going to constantly keep getting better and better and better and better. You know, um, the one in March was amazing, fantastic. It was just stupendous. We really had a great time. And what I loved about it the most is that everybody is still keeping in touch. That's what I love the most. You know what I mean? That's just powerful, you know. Um, Oh, yeah. And then also people are adding on. Like, um, one brother he found a school for five thousand dollars in Greensboro. Yeah, a mm. school. <laughs> you mm. feel me? This shit is everywhere. We just gotta look. Yes, That's it. A school. So instead of taking your income tax check, yes, I said income tax check. See, more don't pay taxes, but you get a refund. Come on. First, if you got babies, see Prince exactly. Ramses Abel Bay, which the First World Order book was dedicated to. Tell this guy, you are living in both worlds. You have to. You already know that when you talk about this information, guess who be thinking you crazy? The eighty fivers. But guess what? You can't be so spiritual that you know earthly good. You gotta be as a god, as a goddess, you gotta be able to walk both worlds. You gotta be able to create your own atmosphere. Period. You gotta be able to talk to the layman. Yes, you can vibe in the cipher with the gods and the goddesses. But you also gotta be able to talk to the crackheads. The winos, the Christians, the Muslims, the Jews, you got So I'm exactly. adding on. We need to be knowing these um, languages. I want you to know Manchurian. I want you to know Arabic. I want you to know Espanol, que pasa, because those are your children, mothers and fathers. How are you going to not be able to talk to your seeds? I think we need to be adding on. We already yeah. are, I think, the most intelligent beings on the planet. Now let's add on. The Jews got a Jewish town. The Greeks, they got a Greek town. The China, Chinese, they got a China town. <laughs> Where exactly. is the more town? Or is it the ghetto and we're just going to be glorifying poverty? Because mm-hmm. I don't want to do that no more. I don't think the mamas want to do that no more. 
And I think it's easy for us to come up out of that. We just got to change our mindset. Well, I have to. We just got to, instead of like with your income tax check, instead of buying clothes that you already got a slew of clothes. You come on now, that's one thing. Poverty struck and people got some clothes. Hit number one if I'm lying. Y'all got some clothes. We got some clothes. We don't need no more. And if you do, then hit up the thrift stores and wash them jones before you put them on. And put some Reiki into them. But in the meantime, stop splurging on clothes when it's houses out here for five hundred dollars. Stop it. You really? Me? Cause I love. Oh yeah. You. That's why. <laughs> okay, now three four seven. Then hit the button again. So I'm bringing you in. Three four seven. Every code six six nine is the rest. How can I help you? <laughs> Don't be shy, what's your question, or you be. coming? Okay, well, they're shy. There's some music in the background. They don't know that they press the one. But if you do want to add on, press one, and we'll hear your vibes. What did you have to say, God? I, tell them, I, I thought I heard some music in the background. I thought they... I was going to say plus, plus one, six, uh, six, two, six, four, one, four, three, five, three, five. That's exactly what it is. Again, for those who are listening, it's six, two, six, four, one, four, and three, five, three, five. Oh, family, a lot of the videos have been taken off of um, Blog Talk Radio and taken over to YouTube, but we're not going to do that no more. We're not going to do that no more okay. because we don't want to lose y'all. Some of y'all don't go to YouTube. And some of YouTube don't go to blog talk. And some of people go to mm-hmm. Facebook that don't go to Twitter. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Exactly. So, I'm going to leave them here, and we're going to take them over there, too. So, that's what we was doing. We, you know, we're tweaking things. If certain things don't work, then you just don't do it. You don't do it no more. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. if it ain't broke, don't fix don't it. Don't fix it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> But you never got to fix it anyway. Was you one of those children, right. God, that took stuff apart when you was little? Oh, yeah. You was? A special, a special part, you said? Yeah, because I know my brother, Malcolm Ryan, Malcolm Ryan, Malcolm Ryan. Y'all know I always give shout-outs to him. He's crossed over. He had cancer in his oh. liver. Okay. Yeah, that's when I really saw racism at its worst. You know what I mean? My mm. brother was taking pesticides. That's what they was giving him. They were giving him something that was going to make his heart stop after eight years. Excuse me, eight applications. Are you serious? He was on his sixth application. All the other patients before him died. You feel mm. me? They died. So on the first application and or on the second. My, baby, my brother, my eldest brother, went all the way to the six. Now, y'all know Malcolm Ryan was gone. Went all the mm-hmm. way to the six. And on the eighth, it was going to immediately stop his heart. Oh, that bitch going to get her karma. You already oh, yeah. know that. Oh, yeah. You already know that. But Put it out here like that. Nonetheless, is God to me. You know what I mean? He's an angel, so I always give a shout out to him. But he always took stuff apart <laughs> and always put it back together. Mm-hmm. He's always making rockets and stuff. You know, and that's another thing. For y'all who got seeds, who got them babies, and y'all want to know what to do with them, first of all, number one is have patience with your baby. Remember, talk to your babies the way that you want to be talked to. I know, exactly. I know that it is difficult being melanated in this society. And partly the reason why it's so difficult is because we're not adding on like we should. We're paying rent. If you're paying rent, I'm talking to you. I'm not dissing you. I'm just talking to you. You know what I mean? I know it. So that's why we get treated the way we get treated. And that's also why, sisters, I'm talking to you. You're walking around with not smiling. It's the summertime. Your hair is in an afro. You got locks. You beautiful, mama. Why you ain't got a flower in your head and you somewhere smiling? And if you is, word up. 
But most often times, because we stress out about that currency, that vibration, that nigga who tripping, them babies who acting up. But if you get centered, and if you add on to your universe, your cipher, it's going to flow properly. It just is. Mm-hmm. It just is. Most definitely. So, I just wanted to make sure I told you that. But anyway, them babies, you can give them ideas that's going to change their life. You know, like my seed. He grew up in a store. Yeah, we was paying $300 a month for rent. But first, we was paying three, $250 a month for rent for our store. So we didn't have enough money for the store and the, and the apartment. Excuse me, the house. We didn't have both. So we moved our little behinds into the store. And guess what? We was humble pie eating Ramen noodles, lentils, and rice. <laughs> we was humble, you know what I mean? This is what you had and to then do. And then went through his books and the ones that was kind of looking new. <laughs> Those was the show. And then, you know, we just was adding on. Like I was making our own incense because that's easy. You can get a big old box, big old box, like a thousand sticks of incense for $18. And you can get that from Medina or Son of Roma. Yeah, I'm dropping jewels. And the God is 347, but he ain't. Okay, okay, I'm going to bring you in again. And I don't know if you're ready to blast down you wasn't, but I'm going to finish my <laughs> thought. But anyway, you can get that from New York. Shipping is like $10, $20. So it's about, what, 28 38 But get some oils to go with it. That way the shipping is a blend. You know what I mean? All blends together. Oil, and I would say get the hot shit, the stuff that's going to sell, like baby powder. That's the number one seller. Then you know people are going to get the frankincense and America. All you got to do is tell them that this is what the wise men brought. Jesus. Okay? Jesus. Y'all know the power of Jesus. I plan. Oh, yeah. Guess they what? Know. If you dissing Jesus in the crowd, everybody finna, not everybody, some people going to be looking at you crazy like, uh, <laughs> you know what I'm telling you, and the reason why is because that's the number one seller. Uh, Come on, everybody know the Bible is the number one seller in the world. Okay? Oh, yeah. So, the conscious people, I want y'all to begin to stop having issues with your grandma and your mommy. Stop it. Jesus is symbolic to your crazy, your crown chakra. Your higher nature. So when I go to church with my mom, because I want things to flow smoothly with that generation in my life, because moms be adding oil. When nobody else be there, guess who be? So I'm not going to be having a problem with her because she loves Jesus. So guess what? If, if moms love Jesus, I'm going to be saying it right there with a thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now, everyone, every now and then, I jump in and be like, look. Come on, my great is he that is within me than he that is in the world. Every now and then, I'm like, when I'm tired of it. But for the most part, I'll be like, I'll be in there with them. Y'all know a little two step in the, in the quick clap when you go to the worship service. Now, they be adding on. They be adding on, but I guess what I be adding on, too. I be taking that energy, all that energy. They be calling down them spirits. They be calling down. And I be sending that love to the ghettos. I sure do, and I'll be sending that love to everybody who be healing, who need a healing, because some of them be in there, they knees be hurting, they necks be hurting, they backs be hurting, <laughs> they heads be hurting, and I'll be sending it all to them to be heal them, because I'm goddess. Yeah, they be calling and conjuring all them spirits, and they just go home, that's it, nah, not me. That energy be getting spread all around. Now, I want to go back to them babies, because they so important to me. Not only are they going to learn the morality in Islam, June the 28th and June the 29th, but I also want you on a daily basis to be doing the morality with your seeds. And guess what? I'm going to reiterate that with you. Because I said, that's the problem. We don't have nothing to reiterate what we teach in our babies on the outside. They need to see another person like, oh, okay, mom and dad ain't just talking about this. This is real. Just like with the ABCs. You teaching them that, but guess what? They getting that at the church. They getting that at the school. They getting that with grandma. It becomes commonplace. Mm-hmm. And the same thing. We got a we got a mm-hmm. camel back. I was gonna say piggyback. We got a camel back with each other, so we can reiterate and strengthen what we're trying to do. Cause we're unified. We're doing what we're doing in our own little circles, but we need to come together, crafting yes. yes. with love, building and networking in mind. I also want these babies painting rocks. Go get some rocks. Go get some paint. I'll put some Bible verses on them. I'll put some Quran verses on them. I'll put some 
If you in Florida State, then put paint it blue and white and put SSU on it. If you in if you in Florida State, then paint it what's the colors? Purple and yellow. And then put Florida State University on them jokes and sell them. Teach these babies <laughs> economics. Period. I was reading Sarah Gray, um, Kali Muhammad's seed, and that's what he was talking about. Look, I was painting rocks. My mama was like, I have got to pay these bills. And he was like, I'm not coming home so I can help my mom. My dad ain't with here. My dad ain't here. I got to be dad. I'm going to be dad. And he was, and he brought money home. Picking up free rocks. Mm-hmm. Go to the woods. It's, it's trees out here that look like stuff. Matter of fact, we was cleaning out the tree line because y'all coming. You know we got to get it ready. And I found blueberry bushes all in the tree line. I'm eating blue. I'm like, what? Blueberry bushes in the tree line? I love blueberries. That's my late night snack so I don't blow up so I can keep my sexy. That's my late night snack. <laughs> y'all know y'all be late night snacking. <laughs> but what is your late night snacking? And let me tell you, if you ain't had some frozen blueberries, John, them things is so good. They don't get hard. You can chew them up. Just would pop it in your mouth and chew them up. That could be your popcorn. When you're watching the movies with your man or your girl, late night snack with the blueberries. And then you could put um, some sliced strawberries and some bananas if you want to. You know what I mean? That zone is easy. Or just the bl- blueberries is frozen. It's just off the chain. You don't want to freeze your strawberries because you can't just chew them up. It get on your nerves. You're going to put them in the blender and make you a little smoothie. But that's good, too. But... That's what we found, and the reason why is because they got a blueberry field around here. And the birds probably be eating the berries, and then they probably be dropping them or whatever, but they dropped them over here. And I can recognize what the leaves look like, and I'm like, oh, my God, look at all these blueberries. So guess what? That's not on my grocery list. I'm saving money. One of the things I love to eat that I'm going to get anyway. So that's what I want us to start doing. I want us to start adding on. And I always talk about this. I also, oh, my God, watch the mango videos. I, I love mangoes, too. We all, Aileen love mangoes. He's constantly eating watermelons and and what else? He loves peaches and stuff. So the mango, what you do, that big old seed, what you do is you cut the top of that mango and you gently pull it back. You can cut it with some scissors. I would say cut it with some scissors because a knife would be dangerous. You don't want to slip up, you know, because most of us ain't got no damn birth insurance. So you don't want to slip up. So just take some scissors and just cut it and peel it open. Then you got another seed inside. And just put it in some dirt. Yeah, you need a greenhouse if you're living in some cold area. But if you're living in the city and it's hot as hell in your apartment, that's a perfect place to grow some dang on mangoes. It's hot in there. <laughs> so don't be thinking just because you in an apartment that you can't do this. That's, I mean, it's just not true. It's just it's just not. It's just not. Now, um, I want y'all to press one. If y'all want some comments or questions, because it's basically freestyle until the guy get here. He the one with the structure and the add-on. Y'all know how he do. I'm just trying to get right. some ideas. Cause I love y'all. I want to see y'all come up. Shit, y'all me. You know, Period. I'm, I ain't mean to say shit, but sh- the sh- uh, yeah. he was your liver. Cause some people offended by curse words, and I don't want to turn nobody off because of that. But the sh- sound helps to heal your liver. So if you have issues with anger, or if you having issues with your liver, your skin looking kind of dark on the cheeks and stuff like that, that's because your filtration systems is not working. And your liver, as y'all know, got like 306 functions. So you need that to live. Put an R on it, you got liver. So do the sh- sound in order to help alleviate toxins and bacteria and build up in your liver. Yeah, it's that easy. You're a powerful being. That's what I love about Arlene, too, God. Because he has on. He be showing you how to fix you. He be showing you how to add on with the God inside of you. That's what yes, I love. He, he show you how to apply the wisdom. Yes, he does. So that you can make knowledge born. Are you inspired to say anything, God? It's a true God. Yes, uh, uh, Dr. Arlene. Yes, he is. He's really a true crown prince, that brother is. 
Yeah, he's a uh, and a healer too. Yep. Yep, he sure is. Um also too, if y'all hear people talking about the God, you know how he you know how the God is. It's really like look, that ain't what I seen. You know, say that shit. Stand up. Don't be sitting there entertaining that BS. You know, from people right. who ain't did nothing. Just ask them how many books they done did. Ask them how many DVDs they got. <laughs> you know what I mean? Ask them that. Don't be right. letting nobody, because I'm not going to let nobody talk about you. And I love you, and I'll be, no, I'm like, right. nah, that ain't what the hell she showed me. And that's another reason why we not in a lot of ciphers, you know? Because right. it's just what it is. People ain't going to let you in the cipher. You ain't, you can't be one of the get along games and talk about people, you know? And if you're going to talk about something, make sure it's true. Make sure that shit happened. And then they'd be like, look, that shit happened. You know what I mean? Right. Whatever it is. Don't be mad if people say something about you if the shit happened. That's another thing. A lot of people don't have an issue. they like, why she, he repeat that? Why she repeat that? Did the shit happen? <laughs> I like it. Don't be upset about it. Uh, All right. I also, too, want to um, talk about the different blogs of enlightenment that we wrote this week. Um the first one that we wrote was called Unlock Your Superpowers, Your Sujas, or The Nine Fruits of Christ. You see how I gave it three different names. Now, the Sujas was for the Muslims, and Unlock Your Superpowers, that's for the layman. That's one for the ones who don't even need to know what Sujas is. It don't matter. It's the same thing. And then Nine Fruits of Christ. You see that's for a little bit of everybody. You're like, Ma, let me read this to you. This is about the Nine Fruits of Christ. You're going to be like, Wow. Yes, sweetheart. Have a relationship. Don't have a don't have a problem. You know what I mean? We need each other. Anyway, Eileen goes into this and it talks about your superpowers and of course he goes in his first Corinthians twelfth chapter. We do have the power of healing. We do have psychic abilities. Some of y'all already have seen some of these things. I know the babies have. And then your etheric insight. I had to say it like that because that's what it is. It's like insight, seeing things before it happens because you saw it already within either through a dream or either through a vision or signs and symbols. And then also increased intelligence. Y'all know already. Y'all already know. Like when you're having a conversation with somebody, they don't know what the heck you talking about. No, they don't. It's like, yeah, your mind get increased. And that's what I noticed too with this knowledge and this wisdom. Your mind get increased. So, yeah, that's, what they, that's what, one of the gifts. And then expanded awareness. You start being aware of things that are around you. Like, for instance, the dandelions that are growing. And then how they have all 12 nutritive cell salts. And how, like, if something is, your head is hurting, all you got to do is eat the leaves and it'll help it. Or um, another thing that helps with that is eucalyptus. Make go to all around you. Like, noticing them blueberry trees plants growing on the tree line instead of cutting them with the weed whacker. You feel me? That's expanded awareness. Noticing the birds is watching you or the squirrels. Because they be watching you, yo. Like, I remember I used to hang with some girls in the ghetto because I had a vice. Y'all know the vice. Everybody, most of us got it because we be needing some dang going. Well, Eileen don't. He don't do none of that. But we be needing something to escape with. And I ain't got to say what it is because y'all already know what it is. But I was over there chilling with them, and because we had advice, and because we was next-door neighbors, and because we was in the ghetto, we would chill together, you know? Go in on it. So, while we chilling, whatever, the squirrel starts throwing nuts at us and shit. And the girl who there, she like, I hate fucking, I hate squirrels. I hate them. I'm like, are you serious? This squirrel is throwing nuts at you? I immediately got my little happy behind up and went to the store. I'm like, God, we over there doing our thing, and the squirrel's throwing nuts at her. What's that? <laughs> so we go look it up, and it says that the squirrels are the messengers between the spiritual realms. And it also talked about not being in relationships that were not healthy. I was like, right. dang. If that won't clear... That won't clear. So y'all know I had to start weaning myself from over there. 
And I had to. I did. Because one of the females, too, this is another energy, too. One of the females, I was like, dang, my heart hurt. What's going on? She was like, girl, I thought I was going to have a heart attack. I got all these blood clots in my legs. She said, I, I knew that you could take the energy, so I sent my heart pains to you. I'm like, what the hell? That's some selfish, that's some selfish stuff. You send your heart pains to people? That's not selfish, y'all. You sitting up there smoking cigarettes. You sitting up there eating chitlins and all that other stuff. And you send your heart pains to somebody else, yo. That's messed up. But see, that's expanded awareness. So anyway, enhanced sexuality. So that's when you like utilizing holy orgasm, utilizing your sexual magic because you can bring children here with sex, but you can also bring and manifest other things. That's how we manifested our store with sexual magic. Okay, so you can watch um Eileen's holy orgasm in order to add on with that. Okay, now the next psychic abilities or sutras is the increased personal magnetism. Now, let me tell you an example of increased personal magnetism. Here, Eileen would used to always get stuff for free. I'm talking about every time we would go somewhere, people would just get him stuff for free. And I'm like, hey, the Godhead increases magnetism. Your aura as a god, as a goddess, is supposed to be at least a mile long. That means you're demonstrating. You know what you're supposed to do on a daily basis for you. Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. You're doing what you're supposed to do on a daily basis for you because we already do what we're supposed to do on a daily basis for our boss, for our children, for our mate. But for you, doing what you need to do on a mm-hmm. daily basis for you. That's how you're going to increase your personal magnetism. And that's just what it sounds like. You're going to be able to draw to you that which you want. Now, sometimes your knowledge, your, um, your, um, your, knowledge, your mindset, your thoughts may be negative. And that's coming from the cell phones that have a low vibration. That's coming from the power line, the microwave, the lower wave. Mm-hmm. What's going on? Or other people's thought forms attacking you. Because people just think about you. And you feel that. So that's why you got to do your personal increasing of your magnetism so that you can block that stuff out and you can add on. It's a lot of stuff that we got to combat. The chemtrails, the um, CFEs, the, I can go on and on. The low vibrations, the VHS instead of USA, UHS. Mm-hmm. This period, cell phones, da, da, da. So you have to do your Qigong. It's always a solution. Oh, no, it's not just problems. It's solutions over here at the First World Order Radio. But you already know. Mm-hmm. And those solutions are Tai Chi, Qigong, sexual magic. Taking your negative thoughts, like, if you have a negative thought, like, I'm ugly, then you be like, I'm pretty to something, on body. <laughs> you know what I mean? Damn, yeah, these toes is cute. <laughs> you know? Tie something, you know what I mean? And you just keep on adding on, and the way this hair curl right here, that's cute. And that's how you take two positives and make the negative diminish. You see, so that's how you increase your personal magnetism. Right. Next thing is the bliss and the nirvana. That deals with consciousness, connection with the source or the oneness. And that's basically like recognizing that you it's just not just you. That's basically doing away with the selfish energy. Like sharing, you know, sharing that last piece with your baby. You know, not getting no attitude with your little babies running around like, Mama, what you eating? Because <laughs> you know they're going to do it. Break them off a little piece and tell them to chew it slow, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but connecting with the source and the oneness, being um, selfless instead of selfish. Now, the next thing is increasing your stamina. Now, y'all blood O types, I'm definitely talking to you. Here go a solution. Why you watching your favorite TV show? I know my favorite TV show. I like Brother Panic. I love that dang gone. Basketball wise, foolishness, I do. I, it helps me relate to the layman and the mundane. Because I used to be so spiritually connected. Come up here with Eileen that I couldn't relate to no layman no monday i couldn't have no conversation it was like they was like looking at me like huh 
Mm-hmm. And y'all know Pisces are already a little, you know what I mean? Because I was like trying to relate. So that helped me relate. It just did. I don't know how it did. But I do. I like that stuff. So I be watching it. But while I'm watching it, I'm not going to be sitting on the couch. I'm not going to be sitting on the floor neither. I'm going to be jogging. So the whole time, I'm jogging through the whole hour. That's how you increase your stamina. I get that blood circulation. I get that energy flowing. Okay? That's how you increase your stamina. Um, Qigong, Tai Chi, and it, you'll feel better. Like... You'll be able to jump in the back seat if the car come about to hit y'all. You have a stamina. Mm-hmm. You'll be able to dance all night. You'll be able to go all night intimately. You know what I mean? You'll be able to increase your stamina if you do these types of things. You'll be more flexible. Stretching is so important. It's like a form of yoga. So do your yoga. Do your Tai Chi. Give yourself 10 minutes at least. All right. And the next one is longevity. The next one is longevity. Um, And longevity is basically thinking positively, thinking that you're going to be here. Most of us have long (laughs) names. One of them nationality cards. One of them had 22 names. I'm like, go ahead, (laughs) God. Go ahead. Long name. You're going to definitely have a long name. Long life. You got. You got work to do, because you got to emulate and manifest all of that. So, that's what it is, longevity, longevity. Now, um, also, now that's just one of the blogs that we went in. So, you see how fun that was? So, yeah, go to the DrAlimaBay.com and then type on Blog of Enlightenment. And we're going to do blogs often. And we also post them on our Facebook page, so... You can go to the Facebook page. It says Moorish Holy Temple of Science of the World. Moorish Holy Temple of Science. Moorish Holy Temple of Science. Now, y'all know science means to know. You know what I mean? And that's what we really be striving to do, be striving to know. So now we need to know and grow with what we know. Okay? That's what we need to do. And then it's of the world because we already know that the universities and all the wisdom of the Nagas and the gurus and the Nookas and the Nagas and came from my ancestors. But I want us to not only just be able to say it, but I want it to be shown like, dang, God is, yeah, yeah, you my mama. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like when you walking and you got your hair wrapped on and, the, and, and folks just opening the door, making sure that door open. You know, that's how you know. You just add it on. Now, the next blog of enlightenment was the Holy Spirit is the Kundalini, the great Naga force. Now, we got a lot of hits on that one. We got like almost 500 hits on Facebook. So make sure you like us on Facebook. You'll be able to see me and Eileen doing our little, our little fist to fist back. Y'all know how that is. That's, that means um, melanated power. Um, so it, um, basically, the God talked about how the Holy Spirit is the Kundalini. You see how Christianity and the spiritual information is basically one. So that's why you don't need to be fighting with them. So you know, they're like, "Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right." But did you know that that, that that's what it is? The Kundalini, is the serpentine fire, as the yoga is referred to as the subatomic force, is located in your sacral bone. So notice your sacral bone with me. Pull up your anal muscles. Pull in your vagina. It's like you stopping your pee. Man, pull in it. Pull it in. There you go. Notice your kundalini energy right there. That's how you pull it up the spine. You just keep on visualizing it getting sucked up a straw up your spine. Yeah, that's sexy, right? And then you bring that sexy energy up to your crown chakra, your Christ seat, and then you create with that. You see, this is not hard. Fire shut up in my bones. That's what the Christians say, right? It's all the same thing. Y'all stop fighting with your mom. Stop fighting with your grandma. You tired of her having that European Jesus on her her wall? Then you gotta get her a melanated one. Put her right next to it. Like mother is your mother's favorite. And ain't even mother. That's right. 
So I want you to love your mom. I want you to have a relationship with your mom. I don't want y'all fighting right. over this thing on Jesus. Right. It didn't have no J. She don't care if it want no thing on J. I do no good. And no they way. possessed, y'all. They are possessed. Yes, they are. So they're easily manipulated, but you love them. So deal with them with love. Drop them jewels. They not swine, even though they might be eating that mess. Drop that. Most of them done live to be a hundred and some change. Stop tripping on them. My grandma ate whatever the heck she wanted, and she left here, and she was ready to go at 94. Mm-hmm. I've been extreme, too, y'all. Dang, it's Good a balance. Age. Good age. It's a balance. Shoot, I know a guy that's right now. She's sick. She ain't ate meat in 10 years. She ain't ate cooked nothing in 10 years. And her body like, well, why in the hell is you here? And her body is full of cancer. Hmm. Full of it. Wow. She can't, she's not strong enough for the Kim Charles is being dropped here. She's too pure for the, she's too pure for the vitamins and the minerals and the, that's the, the pudding and the dang old watermelons. And these watermelons ain't got no seeds. All them seeds is white. So she is too pure for that. And then they got the dang old vegetables that they injecting with the pig hormones. Yep. Her body like, what is this? And this backfiring. So, uh-uh. We not a good dream over here. Now, we ain't gonna eat no damn hard. But I'm not finna dish you if you do. That's your body. Mm-hmm. Own appetite. And don't put it in my pot. <laughs> but I'm not finna <laughs> dish you for it. For real. We got crackheads working around here every day. And guess what? If that's your damn thing to help you get away with the um, with vices, because this is a difficult world when you melanate it. Period. Really? Yes, it is. It is. And I'm sorry you chose that, but guess what? That's show business. Because most of y'all choosing herbs. Well, yes. You know, what about the ones who ain't? I don't want them dissing you because you do. This to each their own round of teeth. As long as they ain't breaking in and entering. You know, I'm not mad at them. But y'all know I can, you know, I just wanted to just say that. Okay, so there are 49 degrees of awakening. And the ancient, Tamaray, Kemetic, Egyptian awakening of your Kundalini energy. I need you to awaken your Kundalini energy. Why? Because we will bring the sun closer. And as I know, because we are sun beings, that will heat this planet up. Now, let me tell you why most people don't want to eat meat. Because when you eat meat, you have a thermal reaction going on in your stomach. Then you can't take the summertime. You'll be miserable. So, for real, for real, it's the science in it. And during the summer, you want to eat water. You want to drink water. You want to eat watermelon. Exactly. You want to exactly. eat the lighter stuff. You want to eat the fruits because they are fresh and they're watermelon. cold. They can be cold and they're full of water. So that's what you want to be doing. You want to be doing that so you don't be hot. You want to be able to take the sun because you're a sun being. If you can't stand the sun, then you're doing something wrong. You're not doing enough water. It's simple. It's easy. Yeah. How do you alkaline your water? You can get an alkaline flask. You can get a canned water machine. But you also can squeeze some fresh lemon in your water. Put some men in there. That make it sexy. You hand that joint to your, your family, your children and babies. They always remember. They're like, ooh, this water was good. Especially mm-hmm. when they just got to get that water. You know, when you just came in from outside, you got to get that water. Oh, nothing else mm-hmm. do. You got to get that water. Hand them some water with some fresh squeezed lemon in it or some mint and or some mint. They be like, my mama love me. And then let me see. Um, so that's, that's the vibe from that. It's in the summertime, get you some water. Okay, so you want kundalini energy up, which has risen up to your brow chakra, because that's going to help you manifest with the sexual energy. Remember, we pump the vagina. We pump the, um, we stop the flow of the pee urine in our mind, even though we had to pee, and we pumped it up, sucked it up our spinal column like a straw, and then we raise it up to our brow chakra, forehead, like the center of your forehead, and brought it to the crown, which is called the nagu. Nagu, that's where it got nagas from. You see, that's why it's a, it's a term of endowment. That N-word ain't nothing negative. It's ancient. Mm-hmm. So stop trying to make me stop saying it. What? I'm mm-hmm. acknowledging my mother and father. 
I know y'all trying to do it. You know what I mean? They trying to do it with our ancestors, but no, I'm not going to let y'all stop. I tell my version of the story because for real, for real, I can't expect nobody else to. But that nagger is referring to the people who have full access to their kundalini energy. Y'all seen the Uraeuses, um on our family's pits, um, statues and Kemet. The kundalini is a serpentine force and it should be honored. The naga is to be wise as a serpent. You remember that? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. So see how you need to stop tripping with them Christians? Why is it a serpent? Right. But just no, no, right. So allegorically, anyway. and yeah, I'm taking it to the Bible because I want you to be able to relate. When your mama say, thank you, Jesus, you got hallelujah. y'all. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> it's the same thing. And if you don't know that, that's because you got to just add on. That's why when you add more to it, when you add more of the original to it, you start seeing it's the same thing. But when you're thinking in fragments, then you have a problem for no reason. That's just because you just need to add on. That's all. Too much of the puzzle is taken away. You just need some more pieces, and you'll see it's making a bigger aspect of the same thing. A circle still a circle, even if it's a dot. When you look through the dot, you can see a little bit, but when you add more to the dot, it's still a circle, but you can see more. My baby here now. So allegorically speaking, Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> in Matthew ten sixteen, be ye therefore wise as serpents and gentle as doves. And when you when you going at it, when you add on to the Christians, say that with love. Ain't nothing wrong with teaching with love. I want to see you teach with love. Now in India, the degree of awakening of the Kundalini energy is symbolic by the number of cobras hovering over the head of the yoga. Now, the number of cobras and the number of layers of kundalini has been awakened. Now, the seven cobras symbolizes a very advanced soul, a great spiritual teacher. Now, some people is out here that took their show on the road after they done read one or two books. Now, y'all know. (laughs) You done took your show on the road and you done read two books. Was you ready? (laughs) I'm going to need y'all conscious to be in place now. Now, if you don't know, say you don't now. Okay? Ain't no wrong with that. But you want to be a great spiritual teacher. And if you want to be a great great spiritual teacher, because anybody could be a great spiritual teacher, you choose it yourself. And all you got to do is practice the ancient techniques. Ta chi, chi, gong, reiki, pranic healing, dream interpretation, breathing, Slowing your breath down. All of these things help to raise your conscious awareness. It's simple. Um, and also, too, because we was invited to um, shout out to Darren in London, because we was invited Wonderful. there, we was able to go to the um, museum, the British Museum, and it was amazing, y'all. These people had took, and some of y'all have seen the DVD, but these people took house size figures of our ancestors work you know what I mean that's some powerful stuff and that's the thing do you want to have a legacy where people will remember you or do you just want to be here and you don't want the children to add on from nothing you've done because I mean it's your choice right but our ancestors they actually the whole world is adding on from their life and that's beautiful so anyway, we saw so many beautiful statues that look just like each and every one of you. We saw them. They was there. They was chocolate. I'm talking about the chocolate of the chocolate. And then they was beautiful. They little lips was all full and all LL Cool J lickable. And then they had the booties all scrumptious. And they, you could tell they was doing their squat. <laughs> it was just on point. It was you. And that's another thing. Work out, family. Let's be cute. Let's don't be all, you know what I mean, all unhappy with how it looks. Well, all you got to do is work for what you want. And if you are exactly. happy with, you know, with that, then be that. But if you're not, then do the things you need to do in order to not be there, like poverty. If you're happy with that, then do that. But if you're not happy with that, I mean, come on, you ain't got to do that. 
Now, in China, a sage who has fully awakened the kundalini energy and has mastered it is represented by a person standing and riding on a dragon. They also like to represent the Moors and dragons, too. Like El Yon, that type of thing. I remember that movie, I'm Dragon Heart. They were talking about us all day long. But they'd rather say a dragon or alien than, you know, us. Right. But they do be letting Morgan Freeman be the genius. He be making, he be making the little gadgets and stuff. So they will, show, and they let him be God. Y'all know he be, they be letting him be God, you know. Sure but yeah, do. dragons, when you see that, that's you too. Now this is why some paintings depict the um, the Bahashafati Kuan Yin in this manner. You know, he's got the dragon under him, and then, you know. Um, now, what is the use of the kundalini energy? How in the hell are you going to use it? What do I need kundalini energy for? Well, it helps in your spiritual practice. When the kundalini energy awakens, it takes a force and passes it through the hollow channel. You see how stuff keeps repeating itself? It's all the same. That's the same thing we just were talking about, how you're going to suck the straw of your spinal cord. You take your spinal energy, your, your, your sexual energy, you pump your vagina, you pump your um, penis muscles, and you bring it on up to the crown chakra, your hollow channel, canal. And as it rises step by step, and each layer of the mind, it becomes open and all the different visions and the wonderful powers come to you and you become a yogi. Now when it reaches your brain, the yogi that is you is perfectly detached from the mind and the body. And the soul finds itself free like in a dream. Now in other words, the kundalini energy enables the brain cells to register spiritually or experience a higher stimulus. Now, the mental slave uses less than 10% of their brain. Mm -hmm. And the other 90% remains undeveloped and unconscious until you tap into it. And I just told you how to tap into it. Bring that energy up like a straw. And how you pump your vagina, pump your, you can feel the energy like, ooh, I want to be intimate, ooh, ooh, ooh. Then you bring that energy up. Now it's a totally different vibration now I want to create. You're using that energy to add on. You see? Now, the master uses this undeveloped sense receptors and the physical sense receptors to activate ranges and expand the undeveloped brain cells. You notice when you're doing it because you'll get sleepy, like, oh, I got to get some rest. <laughs> You're know, like with the children when they were adding on, they would need to take a nap. That's because different areas in their brain is connecting, like synapses and dendrites. That's also one of the you know symptoms of raising your energy and activating those brain cells that aren't usually activated. Now, in other words, the quality of your physical body, especially the brain and the nervous system, is improved and upgraded. Now, here's another way of saying it. After a certain period of time, a person whose kundalini is highly awakened may become a genius, a great charismatic leader, or a spiritual teacher capable of taking a show on the road. Because they have a conscience. They're not going to rob nobody. They're not going to tell anybody wrong. You are ready to teach. You know? So... I always say you need a teacher. So you can take Aleem's online classes. They're very, very affordable. They're like the cost of two pairs of Tim, six PlayStation games that you get two a month, and two elegant dinners with your significant other. It's just like $1,000 for three months, which is breaking down to like $333 a month. Which breaking down to one hundred and sixty seven dollars every every two weeks, which breaking down to eighty five dollars a week. I hope I did that right. But yeah, so very very affordable and very very worth it. A lot of people like to take the class over and over and over. I've seen people take it like four times. Like oh my god, I just love being in class. <laughs> 
Have you ever been excited about school? Well, they are excited. <laughs> they are excited. Like, sitting in the front row type excited. But the wonderful thing is, there's only one row and everybody's on the front. And we just add on beautifully. Now, I want to take... Um, Brother L, are you inspired to say anything? Yes, I am. I am. I'm always glad to hear you talk like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, right, you know I be in the background a lot. Yeah, I know you do. Yeah, Sometimes you come, you spring forward sometimes, too. Let yourself be heard. But I'm definitely a rod and lit goddess. I am, because some of y'all goddess be acting like I ain't supposed to be with the gods. <laughs> some of y'all. Some of y'all oh, be like, oh, my God, perfect. perfect. For him. Oh no! Y'all just feel that way. Oh no! That just be jealousy and envy, and there's also oh, a way yeah, to think envy. that too. Because oh. I remember talking to some females, and they was like, "Look, I be jealous, yo. Please help me." You know what I mean? Like, I see a sister, she be looking good. She got some shoes on that I cannot afford, and I be like jealous, and it's like an energy that comes up in me, and I can't dang on help how I'm feeling. And I never related to that because I never really understood that. I never had no sisters, so I be happy as heck to be around the sisters. And today be damn traumatizing my ass trying to be intimate with Eileen. And that's another thing. We not going to do that. I don't need no help. Nah. <laughs> For real. I mean, if you want to come day. over and help wash the dishes and cook, help and cook <laughs> and clean, we can do that. But as far as being sharing in the bread, bed and stuff like that, nah, we good. Nah, we good. Uh, Brother um, L ain't got nobody. What are you going to do? <laughs> uh, 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 no, we don't do that. That's not right. I don't think it is. Are we dealing with the feeling of being in it? So you you got to put that in there, our sister. Huh? So you got to put that in, put that out there, our sister. I got to. I got to let them know. Just because y'all didn't meet us together don't mean that I ain't here. And if you said I was a European or I want on the information here all permed out. No, 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 no. I'm every woman. <laughs> it's all in me, too. What you doing? You, and you know what? What I noticed is it be okay if they sharing your man. <laughs> and they were like, no, I'm with them. I'm like, no, I'm with that. And I'm like, well, then why you ain't with nobody? Because you're the queen of the crap, my boy. She said, you don't roll like that, huh, sister? Because <laughs> you're lying. Because like <laughs> you're lying. <laughs> don't be lying. That ain't going to help. So, and I'm telling you, y'all, I could write a book with this. <laughs> One girl, she did it. Like, she doodled on herself. Whoa. She came to the crib. She knew I was at work. Got there and doodled on herself. Whoa. I'm like, dang, Pooh. You doodled on yourself because you had doodle intentions. Your intentions mm. was all effed. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you didn't know that was obvious. Mm. Come on now. You done doodled on yourself on the way here. See? Whoa. <laughs> What was that about? Do the whole trip. <laughs> Whoa! What was that about? What was that about? She done had some of the free some some kind of structured water and, and couldn't wait till she got off the exit. Oh, just my goodness. just just mm mm. <laughs> and they, and it was almost here, so they couldn't just turn around. You feel me? So it just was right. it was trifling. The intentions was trifling, and it was mm. obvious. It was obvious. Mm. So you know that was that was she on the worst though because it was some worst ones now. Woo <laughs> I, I I need to write a book. I think y'all would. Be <laughs> there could be another one that fell on that one. But well, speaking of books, Aline's book, The First World Order, is on sale. It has never been on sale before. It's fifty percent off. We always have we always ask for a hundred dollars. Come on, if you've gone to college and you get those composition books that you never complete, then you already know that this book is worth way more than a hundred, but for five days only. The twenty fifth through the thirtieth, they are fifty percent off. So Go to DrAlimaBay.com and check out the Hall of Knowledge, where the home of the $10 PDF. And there you can get your copy of the First World Order for 50% off for five days only. I think that's a great idea. It is. Because I paid 100 you know, Yeah. You know, I know they, I know they can, Give me your perspective on the book, guys. Huh? They can cop up 50 I know they can. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, it's less than a pair of Tim's. It's the same amount as the PlayStation Xbox 3 game. It's the same price. $50. Pop. Mm-hmm. Boom. Exploded. And it's yours. So, it's, it's $100, cool. It, if it's worth a hundred dollars, you know it is. Yeah. For the information yeah, you, you get, get and for the knowledge you get out of it, you know, and a lot you can learn from that book. A whole lot you can learn from that book. You know, it can help you change things around in your life. You know, and as like I said, you know, for a hundred dollars, come on, fifty dollars, still. Yeah. It is definitely a steal. Now, and if you're a reader, you know, it's 419 pages. As you know, Aleem goes in. You know, and a lot of times we get a lot of comments where people are like, Aleem, you know, you really saved my life. I'm for yeah. real. From Japan to Korea to here. People be like, Aleem, you know, you really saved my life. You know, you helped me. And he be like needing that, you know. So, <clears throat> And he'd be grateful he because he want to have a, a purpose here. He don't want to just easily go to the bathroom and, you right. know, and work. He want to have a legacy. And some people do come here and they want to have a legacy. You, so you want to have a legacy? You know, make, make, you know uh, uh, one thing that when you leave, you know, transition, you really left something here for other people. You know, to mm-hmm. go on. Uh, you just you want to hear just breathing in air, breathing in air, you know, or, or sleep or whatever. Like you said, sleep, eat, and go to the restroom. You know, yeah. I have a purpose. And you want to make a change. And I, yeah, I know it's difference. easy to get discouraged because of all that's going on, but it's also just as easy to be inspired and to add on. It's so easy. Uh-huh. You know, you just gotta you gotta tap into people who talking about it. You know, like right. I wouldn't go to like I wish um I wish people would think like this, but everybody ain't gonna think like you think. I wouldn't go to a doctor who was like, Well, you know, you gonna die and there's really nothing I can do to help you but we do have some um since you got insurance, we do have some you know, some medication that will prolong your life for another three months and you're not gonna be able to walk, you're not gonna be able to feed yourself or go to the bathroom for them three months, but this should be here. <laughs> you know, that's not the person I want to go to. No. You know, so you want to go to somebody who's going to be inspiring and adding on so that you can see those um, attributes in your own life. Or you want right. to be the inspiration. Or you want to be the adder. You know, so you can also inspire others. You know? Um, Another blog of enlightenment that we did this week um, was the top 10 health benefits of Qigong. And then you'll see Aileen and myself at our ninth annual conference. We did that one in Georgia, Um, um, the spring equinox. We always do something. This year was our 14th year. But um, this one was our ninth, so we got this picture. And they're talking about the health benefits of Qigong. And I want to just go through it real quick. Um, it helps to improve the motion of your blood. Yes, doing Qigong improves the motion of your blood. So if, you have a, um, if you're sick in your blood or your blood is like depositing cancers in your breast or depositing cancers in your prostate or in your brain, all you got to do is just um, do some Qigong. It'll help to move this stagnant energy. Yeah, and the blood is your life force, so you need you deserve ten minutes. Yeah, now, qigong also warms the blood and enhances the whole body circulation. It also stimulates a healthy appetite. So some people are constantly eating, 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 and not getting full, and that's because you're not doing enough physical exercise. You're not utilizing the food that's already been stored for a rainy day. And you, right. you can see that on your um, thighs, on the under of your arm, on the inside of your thighs, on the booty, on your stomach. So when you have these extra food deposits, then you're going to have an unhealthy appetite, whether you overeating or whether you undereating. So Qigong will help that. Now, Qigong also helps with sex function. So if there's an issue then Qigong, you'll notice, will start to alleviate the issue. See, it's all dealing with the blood. If you can't get it up, then the blood is what makes to get it up. 
and the blood, once you are functioning it and moving it properly through your body, then the sexual functions will move properly. Same thing with um, women. Sometimes intimacy is painful. What is the blockage for? Sometimes your vagina like, I don't want to be with him. (laughs) But sometimes you might just have some stagnant energy that you need to have alleviated. That's all. And the thing is to be sensitive enough to feel what's wrong before it becomes a situation that you got to think on have surgery. and You know what I mean? You want to catch it before it's a problem. And your body tells you, like, look, something ain't right. You can feel it. Be sensitive to you. Make sure you have at least 10 minutes a day for you. Now, some other benefits of Qigong is the simulation of your nutrients and digestion and elimination. Every time you eat, you want to make sure you poop in. Some of us is not pooping on regularly. It's not okay to be pooping in seven days. You want to be pooping every day, sometimes three, exactly. four times a day. If you're eating three, four times a day, you need to be pooping three, four times a day. And if you're not drinking enough water, you're not going to be able to have, be lubricated. You're not going to be able to move your bowels. Also, there's some powerful times to be drinking that water. You want to drink the water before you go to bed and also right when you wake up. Exactly. Before you go to bed and right when you wake up. Okay. Um, also, too, if you have a problem with drinking your water and it going straight through you, that's because you're not drinking enough. And when you finally do, it is running straight through you. So as soon as that happens, you go get two more glasses of water because you are extremely dehydrated. That your cells are like, what is this? <laughs> I don't even know what to do with it. It came in here fast. Let me get rid of it. Okay, so if you're not being able to hold your water, then you need to drink more water, period. Um, Also, so drinking before you go to bed and also drinking when you wake up. And then you also want to drink before you get your behinds in the water, before you get your behinds in the pool, before you get your behinds in the shower or a bath. You want to drink water. This will help to eliminate heart attack. Mm. Okay? So it's a very powerful time to be drinking water. And then you also want to drink water um, right before you eat so that you can digest your food properly right before you eat like 30 minutes maybe you know you're about to drink eat then you want to drink some water 20 to 30 minutes before you eat it'll also help with the digestion and elimination and making sure everything is like a little slip and slide as it goes through your body now, qigong also helps to accelerate your metabolism. So, if you're trying to lose weight, you can do that. If you're trying to gain weight, you can do that, too. Your body going to do what you want it to do. Also, for the babies, I want you to know that when you want, if you want to be tall, then all you got to do is think it. Your body is primed for doing whatever you want to be able to do, period. You want that mole on the top of your right side of your lip that you be painting on with your eyeliner, that's what your body going to put there. You want your hair to be long when you're young? It's just like magic. So I want you to make sure your children notice about themselves. Right. If you want to be, I think, shoot, you'll probably be able to breathe underwater. I don't know. Y'all are some magical babies. I know y'all can touch people and heal. I done seen it. You know? I remember 10 years ago, this beautiful little girl named Anawa. No, it was Emia. That was her sister, now. But Emia, I had just gotten into a car accident. I was like, dang, why I can't get hit by a company car so I can get a fat ass check? A fat check. <laughs> y'all know y'all ain't said that stupid man. I know I have. <laughs> dang, uh, on if it won't. Less than a week later, that dang on company car van really slammed into my side. I was sitting, I was at the gas station, boom, right into my side. The car dented in my side, y'all. I was hurt. I was so up. So I did go to the chiropractor so I could get a little check, you know. They thought I was faking, but I wasn't. I was in some pain, yo. And I remember when Emia touched me. Emia was probably, she started walking at six months. So Emia was probably she probably won't 10 months 
Emmy saw me over there grimacing in pain. I was shaking, like rocking back and forth, just trying to just deal with the pain. Emmy put her little precious little hands on my arm. And all of a sudden, all the pain left. And I looked at Emmy like, all right. you ain't no, you ain't no joke. Then when she lifted her hand up from me, the pain just came rushing back like a gust of water that busted from a dam. I just was like, oh, I, I couldn't take it no more. I had to go. I had to go in the back of the store because I couldn't just be up there crying, you know? Right. But I was like, wow, I never forgot that, you know? And I want to make sure that y'all know that y'all babies is powerful. If y'all sitting over there with no money and all them babies, then y'all need to be um, doing some rituals together. And y'all need to do little things together so y'all can see each other's power, so y'all know it's real. Like, take a pot with a plant that's healthy and do your qigong in front of the plant. If you go to the left with your plant, your plant will follow you. Then go to your right with the plant so you can see it, so you can see your power. Another great book to help you see your power, me and Eileen wrote it. It's called um, The Living Power of the Song. That's another great book to see your power by utilizing the spell book out of the Bible. Mm-hmm. Psalm. Psalm is a powerful spell book. And I mean, you learn all of this stuff in Dr. Eileen's class. I'm just giving y'all crumbs. That's all. And I'm not saying I'm from the master, but I am. I'm just dropping jewels. I ain't mean to call them crumbs. They jewels. They really jewels. But like, mm-hmm. is your money funny? Then burn a gold candle. Because you don't never know who thinking about you negatively and just stagnating your finances or just worrying, worrying about, oh, my God, how am I going to do this? And all of those things stagnate your blessings. So you can utilize magic, which that's what we need to be doing on a daily basis, not to hurt, but to help you. So burn a gold candle, and that'll help free up your finances and you can tell on the gold candle how it's going like if you light the candle and it pops and you're like damn that's the answer it's like thank you pal it's like boom it's like I show it's like ta-da it's like abacadabra it's like bing you see and then if it has a large flame that's blue, then you know the spirits is dead. And you go ahead on and start doing your eye shades. I always be like, Malcolm Ryan, Malcolm Ryan, Malcolm Ryan, because he keep me safe. I always give a shout out to him. You know how, like, when you say Beetlejuice three times, oh, I say him three times. Because he's a god. Mm-hmm. He's my eldest brother. I love him. And then you can also do your grandma. You can also do your grandpa. I always say deal with the ancestors that you knew, that loved you, that changed your diaper. Now, you know that's love. When you're, you know, somebody touching and wiping poop off of you, that's love. So deal with them. Um, Some people want to deal with the angry spirits. I don't. I don't want to kill no chickens for you and stuff. I don't want to do that. I don't want to get you no blood and stuff like that. I don't. I want to activate the blood that's within me. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> and fill it with prana. But to each their own. I'm not dissing nobody. But if you ain't even eating meat, then why is you killing that chicken? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? But to each their own. And also the other benefits of Qigong are it helps decrease the need for sleep. Now, when you being lazy, that's another thing I noticed. That this movement be making people lazy. Now, I've been noticing that the Native American, not the Native Americans, I meant to say the Moncanians, the Tayanos, y'all also know them as the Mexicans. They be in the they be in the house, Thank y'all. And they don't be lazy. They have like one car, it's a minivan, and everybody get up in that joint, and they all go to the same place to work. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. They be adding on. Now I notice now, especially like in Finding Mary Jane, y'all seen that show. I don't want to be stereotypical, but if you in the same spot that you was in when your girl left for work, you wrong when she get back. And you in the same spot, you wrong. <laughs> Stop it. Cut it out. You the provider add on, period. 
Let this information motivate you to be God, not just to say that you God. I want to see God. I want to see God. Just like you rise in the morning when the sun rises, because that's God. I want to see God. I want to see God in you. And she want to see God in you, too. And then babies need to see God in you. Yeah. And that brings me right back to this. You're not nation building when you're just having babies. That's not nation building, having multiple mates. That's not nation building to me because if you really want some seeds, then we can go adopt them. Arlene was adopted. So that it's, it's, it's way more than that. You know, and I notice that this information sometimes stagnate the gods. They don't be wanting to add on. Don't let that be you. All right. right. So, Qigong, if you be sleepy and you feeling lazy, then Qigong will help decrease your need for sleep. Okay? And then if you got vices, then reward yourself after you done add it on. Have a goal for yourself. Okay, I'm going to make $50 a day. If that's too much, then I'm going to make $35 a day. Or if that's too much, then I'm going to make $20 a day doing what I do. But don't not have no goals and you just in there sleep because you're depressed. And then you waking up at dang on 2 and 1 o'clock in the afternoon and you're talking about you God. And you regurgitating something that you done heard from somebody else. We don't want that. That's not going to build nothing. And it's too much work to be done. Like I said earlier, you can also paint the rocks and put the Bible verses on there too. People be oh, going crazy over the Bible. It's a number one seller. Find a rock that got bread, look like a piece of bread. Y'all seen them smooth rocks look like the, a, a broken loaf of bread? Paint the outside of that joint brown and then mix the brown with the white and paint the inside of that joint beige and then put the daily bread on there. And sell that joint. Somebody will buy it. And it's a paperweight or it's a magic stone. Be creative. Add on. I want to see you add on. I love y'all. I feel like the men, the brothers, the gods, y'all the most intelligent beings on the planet. And I know it ain't easy for y'all. So get your vitamin B12 so you're not stressed out and add on. Because that's what vitamin B12 does. It helps to alleviate the body of stress. So if you having like issues where you got to go to court because some effed up stuff happened because you created it in your life, and take that vitamin B12. It'll help to alleviate the stress that'll be on your body from child support issues or whatever. Traffic, whatever. Bearing arms, whatever. Probation, whatever. Take the vitamin B12. It'll help to alleviate the stress. Other benefits of Qigong are it promotes your endurance. It also helps with your immunity by re, um, by reducing cortisol. And it also catabolizes your hormones and it acts as an inhibitor of cytokine. So basically, in a nutshell, it helps to um, add on to your immune system. Another jewel! You can tap your thymus gland. It's right below the nape of your neck. And just because the monkeys are doing it, like when they be get hot and getting mad, they beat their chest, well, make sure you beating yours, too. You just can do it with one hand, though. I like to do it with my right hand because I'm right-handed. You can do it with your left hand. That's fine, but do it. See, that's another part of 10 minutes for you. So if you can, take some time out. Let's all just tap our thymus gland. Helps to enhance your immunity because we need our immune systems enhanced. You know, with the chemtrails and lack of nutrients in the food. And there's so much stuff to do. You can grow some watermelons. You can grow some green peppers. You get 100 seeds in a green pepper. Buy a green pepper for 99 cents. Go get you some dirt. And go get you some um, some flower pots from Dollar Tree. Or shoot, if you're drinking bottled water, cut the top off the bottled water. That's, that's free. You're going to throw it away. Cut it out. And... Put the dirt in there and plant the seeds. And in a couple of months, if you give it love, you can sell green peppers. You can sell green peppers. You can sell green pepper plants. See? You can add on. Mm-hmm. Right? And don't let nobody discourage you when you have a goal and a dream. Like, that shit going to take months. 
So is um, getting a baby in your stomach. It's going to take right. some months, but it's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to happen. So don't let nobody discourage you. Have a goal. Okay? Um, also, the benefits of Qigong is it helps with your reflexes and dexterity. And it's very important to be flexible. You don't never know when somebody's going to sneak up behind you and scare you. You know, you want you don't want your dang on spine being out of line because you've been scared. Or you don't never know if you're going to get into a car accident and not manifest or nothing. But you just don't never know. You don't want your spine all knocked out. You want to be flexible. You want to stretch. Stretching is very important. That could be your 10 minutes. That way you can switch it up and do something for you every day. Qigong also helps to prevent osteoporosis. That's the issues and inflammation in your bones. A lot of the elders, your knees is hurting, your ankles is hurting because when you was younger, maybe you sprained it or whatever, and it just didn't just it just didn't heal. Another thing that I know that I utilized was and is Irish sea moss. That's another jewel, y'all. Oh, we just be dropping them. I love oh, how yeah. we're giving them solution because it's important. You know, whenever you're talking to somebody who, who just period, whenever you're talking to somebody, y'all got the wisdom and the knowledge of who that person is. And if they sharing, and that's even better, because some people don't share what they learn. They don't share what they know. No, they don't. You know? So, I receive moss, and I like to utilize the kind that actually, all you got to do is wash off the sand and the seashells, dirt, wash it off. And then you let it soak like noodles. It'll soak in the water like noodles. And then you slow boil it on low. And it'll just keep dissolving. And then you can use that in your smoothies. Like a little two tablespoons in your smoothies. Because you'll put the rest of it in the fridge. And some people like to put flax seeds with it. Because flax seeds got that oil with it. And that'll help with the lubricating of your joints. And it'll also help to um, revitalize your cartilage. I know it helped mine. And I also know it helped the other people that I, you know, that, that did it, you know. So, no, I ain't no, you know, no, this ain't no medical advice. You know, I got to say that, all the disclaimers and all of that, because some people be trying to act, they be trying to take it too far. Right. You know, but I know it works for me. That's what I would do. And that's what I've done. So, absolutely, it'll help with strengthening the bones and when you get older you know that's that's an issue for people you know because they're not getting the sun melanated people need at least an hour of sun a day and some people can't take the sun because of the meat consumption so you see no wonder the bones is doing that so and, and then not drinking enough water all of these things you assist them you can't when your car says it needs some fuel you can't just keep it on going and, but see the wonderful right. thing is you got an indicator in your car that shows that your fuel is low but in your body, when you need some dang on water, your lips be dry, ashy, your skin be dry, ashy, your skin, your eyes be dark underneath. You are dehydrated. You need some water. Mm-hmm. And your body ain't going to be like the car and be like, okay, we're about to run out of fuel. <laughs> so you got to be there. You got Your brain got to do it. You got to be sensitive enough. Another thing. That's what that Qigong helps with. It helps to open up your arteries. And a lot of the people who's blazing, y'all need the brain, but y'all need the um, BD blend. If you blazing, especially this hybrid stuff, oh, my God. Because <laughs> a lot of times, we don't even eat seedless grapes and seedless watermelons no. and seedless no. mangoes. And no. We don't even eat that, but you're going to blaze some seedless herbs. The reason why I think they make it illegal is because they Frankenstein in it. That's all. So save your seeds because you ain't going to have none in a while. It's, it's, usually you can only find it in the Reggie. It ain't in the dang on loud and all of that. <laughs> so make sure you're doing your Tai Chi and Qigong. It helps to open up your arteries. Okay. It also helps to add a greater base of the microcirculation to your brain. So it helps to prevent Alzheimer's, okay, and memory loss and all of that. So Tai Chi, Qigong has so many wonderful benefits. And the last thing 
that I want to point out of the benefits of Qigong is it enhances your focus and your concentration. A lot of the elders, when they get older, they're like, look, I can't focus. I can't concentrate. Well, this is a wonderful thing to do, giving you 10 minutes for you. The key helps to draw focus, and it trains the mind, and it also helps to calm down and relax the mind so that you can be more peaceful, sisters and brothers and children. Mm -hmm. It remarkably improves your hands on healing as well. You'll start to notice, like, when you come across somebody, if they're sick, your hands will actually tingle. I know. Because we did this. I remember, I remember in college, the first time it ever happened, me and this goddess, we called her Reigns, she always would be with me at school. So one day, we was waiting on the bus stop, and we really was waiting at the, for the guy at the bus stop. The lady was waiting for the bus stop. And our hands was on. And me and Missy Reigns, we look at each other, and like, is your hands tingling? And she was like, yeah. Hey, mine is too. So I talked to the goddess next to me. She's really, really beautiful. And I'm like, goddess, um, is you sick or something? And she was like, yeah, actually, I got brain tumor. Mm. And I'm scared because my husband's in the military. But the military want to go through my face to my brain to get the dang old tumor. I'm like, damn. I can see why she didn't want to do that because goddess was beautiful. And then also I can see why she didn't want to do that shit because that dang old hospital was finding some casualties. They was building them up. <laughs> so I can see why she was scared. So right. I'm like, well, goddess, our hands are on and we do Reiki. So that's how we knew. So can we put our hands on you? And she was like, heck yeah. So we did. Mm-hmm. And then the guy pulled up, so we had to go. So I was like, God is. And I wrote it down. I was like, you need to look up Reiki. Because y'all know Google know everything. So I was like, you need to look up Reiki. And so she did. And I was like, dang, I wonder how God is doing. Three years later, I'm sorry, Walmart. Y'all know we be meeting up in Walmart late night. Sorry, Walmart. I'm like, oh, my God, I was thinking about you. I've been thinking about you for the past three years. How you doing? Did they ever go through your face? She said, no. I did what you told me to do. I looked up Reiki. She said, I did Reiki on me every single day. And she was blood type B. Blood type B. Blood type B people, they are the ones who be the miraculous ones who healed in the hospital. They was like, look, I'm tired of being sick. And then they, they body be like, okay. And they mess around and pee it out or poop it out. And it be gone. And doctors be like, what in the world? Where did it, ha- where did it go? Huh. That They the ones hmm. that's blood B. They also be very psychic. You know, just everybody got their, you know, their gifts. So, that's what she said she did. She continued to do the Reiki from that day on. She said the doctors was flabbergasted. They was like, yo, what just happened? There's none of them here. None of them. It was four of them. So, they was like, look, let's do an MRI. They just kept on doing the MRI. I couldn't believe they was gone. So that's what Qigong and Tai Chi does. It helps to enhance your Reiki, your hands-on healing, which is also a Christian term, laying on a hand, right? right. And even the hospital adopted it. It's called healing touch. It's all the same thing. Yeah? So is your dot a circle? Is it a half a circle? Is it a small circle? How big is your dot? And when your dad is huge, you can encompass all truths and get along with them. Tai Chi Chi Gong, it deepens your connection with the spirit. It connects you to your God force. It helps you to tap into the 90% of the brain that most people do not utilize. So let's add on. We have more. I've just been going and going and going. <laughs> Yes, if you want to add on, then press one, and we'll bring you one. Eileen, yeah, I, I, you want to add on? We we are so busy, y'all. We got we just yeah. have people working yeah. here, and that's what I love about us too. We are giving our people money, and they're not trying to rob us. So 
people support us a lot, and I just want to give a Wonderful. shout out to all of y'all that Wonderful. support us. I'm for real. It's like y'all really be supporting our website. You know, I really want like suggestions too, because I want it to be, I want it to be better. You know, because it's for y'all. It's like y'all ain't gonna help us, and I just want to say thank you. I really do because if Appreciate it wasn't for y'all. We wouldn't be able to add on the way we do. But I guarantee you that we add on. But I know that you appreciate the wisdom and the knowledge that Arlene gives. Because it's like, yes, what's do. good of giving the wisdom and the knowledge if don't nobody want to hear it? Y'all know y'all done been in ciphers where people don't want to hear it? Oh, yeah. So, you know, it's, 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 it's a couple of y'all on here, and y'all want to hear it. So I just want to say thank you. I was going to... Just give a shout out to the people who done gave this week. You know, Brother Jacobs. Thank you, God. You done went in and got your first world order. Guess what? It will be going out tomorrow. You right there in Darlington, South Carolina. God, thank you. And see, that $65 is going to probably go towards Mike because he need 350 to get him a car. He been getting in trouble with DWIs and stuff like that. And his car dang going, is dang going making all that noise coming down the road. They is more likely to pull a truck that's making all that damn noise, and he hit a deer, you know, and the dang on light out. So they more likely to pull him over than to pull a dang on car that ain't dealing with that mess. And then he liked to drink, you know what I mean? Because he done been dealing with some shit. This girl be going in on him. Oh, you know, that's another thing. Stop running our men into the grave, goddesses. If you got a little piece of man, then you pull his pieces together, and you put them with your pieces, and y'all make a hole. And stop beating him down. I remember when I was with this dude, I, it was dang gone. Because me and Eileen been together 14 wonderful years. But before I was with him, I had kissed some frogs. Y'all know, ladies, y'all can kiss a frog. You think you're going to turn him into a prince. <laughs> I had kissed a frog. And he one day he told me, and this always stuck with me. And he was like, yo, I'm in this with you. That's all that nigga said. I'm in this with you. I'm like, damn, you is in this shit with me. And I'm sitting up here fighting you. So he prepared me. That one little statement prepared me for when I got with Arlene. You know? But that's to give him shout outs. Because I'm telling you, when I go to PayPal and see y'all done put y'all coins in there, I'll be like, what? And I'll be like, <laughs> made this multiply by the billions, yo. I'll be sending y'all money in my mind, yo. Because y'all helping the money bounce in the community. Just like um, Black Wall Street. Y'all know Black Wall Street. The family, that money was bouncing in the community 19 times. That's beautiful. 19 to 26. Gap got inspired by them, that um that store Gap. Um, Wall Street in New York got inspired by that. That was us, family. Our ancestors. Yes, it was. Amen. Yeah. So, I just, I just want to say thank you, um. Brother Fuller, thank you. Brother Darty, thank you. Brother Nichols, Nicholas, thank you. Brother Woods, thank you. Brother Kamal, thank you, God. Brother Andre, Palui, thank you. Brother Travis, woo, when that money went in there, I was like, thank you. Brother Robert Anderson. God, I had to say, oh, y'all know, because <laughs> you, be, you be going in every day. And I just thank you. Thank you so much for dropping your coins. And Sister Fatima, thank you, Goddess. You done opened the way. And them other people, they came after you. <laughs> I'm doing down the list, so it's like recent to pass. Robert Reese, you be adding on, oh, God. Thank you so much for getting deodorant, you know, because everybody going to use deodorant, and you like, you know what, right. I'm going to buy deodorant, so I'm going to buy it for my people. I might as well, because Johnson & Johnson don't give a damn about me. <laughs> and I just say thank you, God. Sister Camille, yo, you be at on, guys. You be trying the heck out of them crystals, and I just thank you. Thank you, Goddess. 
I hope I'm helping you too. You say I do, but I, I'm grateful for you too. And Brother Julius, thank you, God. You right there in class, yo. So it's like you be adding on and you be receiving and you be there every Thursday, excuse me, every Tuesday and you be there every Sunday. You be the first one there. You be in the front row. And I just appreciate that, God. I hope, I hope you know, you're getting with everything you feel like you spending your dough on. Thank you, God. And just to be a chick. Ooh, thank you, goddess. Thank you. And Ezra Charles, thank you. Thank you so much for giving us your coin. I just, I, 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 the words is just, it is, I, Sabrina, Jerome, Al, Frida, there you go again, Robert, and Camille. I'm telling you, y'all just be giving, I'm, thank you, and I'm telling you, and y'all money is going towards adding on. I'm telling you. What you say? And this healing retreat. Eileen said to say the healing retreat. That's what it's going towards. And we done built a silver dome. We done um, ran it with the electricity. And all of that is from the melanated people that surround us. So we definitely helping a lot of people, too, with all the stuff y'all helping us with. Yeah. You know? We finna buy a brother a car. The car is $350. It's a 2004. Do you like, look, my wife died, and my new wife wants this out the yard. So it's running, ain't nothing wrong with it. It's three fifty. If you don't come get it, I'ma let the junkyard come get it. That's a blessing. Yes, it is. So I gotta do that. I gotta do that, brother Abdul. You be calling every day, God. And that's another thing I like about us too. We answer the damn phone. <laughs> <laughs> we have the damn phone, brother Abdul. You call eight times a day, and we catch at least six of them Jones. Woo! You be calling. Thank you so much for your coin, brother Heru. Thank you so much for your coin, brother S- Sister Savona. Thank you so much, brother Ramsey. You just like, look, I'm finna buy it in the, in the same. I'm buying a couple. Two things and different transactions on the same day. I just want to give you some money, Eileen. Thank you, God. Sister Christy, thank you. Brother Robert Reese, there you go again. God, thank you. I think he ended up getting some deodorant for his baby. He's like, look, my wife got to try this stuff. And then Brother Nicholas, thank you. Brother Michael Pratt, thank you. Sister Christy, thank you. Brother Rod, thank you. Brother Elvin, oh my God. Brother Lynn, well, he called himself Brother Elohim. Thank you, God. I'm not going to stop, but I just want to just thank y'all so much. David, thank you so much. And may y'all coin be multiplied by the billions. I want to see you. I want to see you adding on. I want to see you in a rent-free domicile. And y'all, it's out here. Okay? Uh. So, if you come, we'll give you the breakdown on exactly how to get you a spot rent-free with your income tax money. Okay? Or with your stash. Mm -hmm. Or with your credit card. Yep. I want to see you stress-free, rent-free. Like, if you pay with your credit card... Picture paying your rent for forty dollars, your forty six dollars. That's your minimum fee. Ain't that what your minimum fee for credit cards is? Depending on what you spent. You know, so just I wanna see us doing it better, doing it and doing it well. Cause I love y'all and I love these babies. And I'm tired of thinking it's okay to kill our babies. What yeah. the heck they thinking? I'm tired of thinking that. And how they going to stop thinking that is when we adding on. When we adding on. You feel exactly. me? Exactly. They're not running around here doing that mess to nobody else. Uh-huh. They going to cut that mess out too when we add on. Oh, yeah. And I always say this. If you robbing a bank and you don't never get in trouble, is you going to stop robbing the bank? I don't know. You say you don't know, but <laughs> I don't know. It depends on him. I don't know. So what works for him? What he thinks was what he thinks was work for him. You know. 
I know the average person be like, hell no. You would get in trouble. You would think he would say that. Yeah. But some people ain't even gonna rob the bank at all. I know me. Like if somebody robbed their wallet and they melanated, I'm running over there to make sure they got their wallet. Like yo, you just robbed this. Now they something else. I might be like, oh. <laughs> it's just a tear. It's just a no, tear. I might right. be like, I'll hallelujah. Say <laughs> I'll say the same I don't thing. Know. No. I don't know. But I know if they melanated, I already do know. Mm, I'll be a sucker. Like I'll be a sucker for my people, man, all the time. Oh yeah. I love y'all. Colleen, like, okay, that's enough. What you about to say, you know, he? I mean, what was you about to say? Um, oh, you didn't say that, Colleen? What you say, God? Oh, he said he do oh, the same thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought he said something. He lying. Colleen ain't finna take the white money if they drop their wallet. He not. He finna walk by it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I pick it up. I pick it up and hand it to him. What if what if they um redneck looking? They probably think I'm trying to steal it. <laughs> they might pull out the side piece, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you don't pick my pocket. That's what he was saying too. He's yeah. saying <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know because I really don't thankful. have no European friends. So I'm just guessing. I don't. He know. might. He might. I don't either. He might, he might, he, he, and he might thank me. Some yeah. Some Europeans will fool you sometimes. They thank you, you, you know. like, I mean, honestly, it's like your own energy. That's what you're going to draw to you. You're going to draw to you that which you deserve. And, you know. It's true. Yeah. Well, um, I'm tired of talking. <laughs> I am well, you, tired. Well, I guess you said you said enough, huh? Yeah, that's why I love Eileen. Eileen be going off for of six to twelve hours. <laughs> I guess the spirit just hit him, and he be like, "Yo, I got to get this information to y'all." <laughs> and he get it to us too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not just be sitting there smiling like, "Oh, that's my baby." <laughs> Dang, I did good when I fasted and prayed for him. That's another trick. You can fast and you can pray. Because that's, that praying now is powerful. It ain't nothing but meditation. It's the same exact thing. It's your 10 minutes. Give yourself 10 minutes. Mm-hmm. No matter what it is. Switch it up. But fasting and praying and writing down exactly what you want. Y'all remember we used to do spelling? Well, that's what it is. It's a spell. They just put ink on it to throw you off. But it's a spell. So you can write it on. Well, you got babies, and you can make your spell really powerful. Because they be adding oh, yeah. on. Like, I remember when the babies used to be around us, when we wasn't in the country, the babies would be around us in the ghetto. So they would come over, and they would write poems, and I would do their hair, because I love kinky hair. I can't Wonderful. really do the other stuff, but I can do some kinky hair. And the babies would write a poem, and that would be compensation enough. And then I also showed them the science of magic. And they would write down what they wanted. And I remember one goddess, because she showed me her picture. She had drew this big old house. Her mom holding a whole bunch of money. <laughs> and I'm telling you, like, like less than two years later, they was in that big old house. It was, yeah. It's just beautiful, y'all. I definitely want you to be implementing your children in, um, in your in your magic and your rituals. It helps to make them um, more aware of their abilities. You know? Right. Yeah. Definitely do. And also rub yeah. your third eye. It'll also help to keep you in your higher nature. It's like the genie in the bottle. Okay. You know, so so rub your third eye in a circular motion, which is the area in between your eyebrows. Yeah. That helps to button. add on. God, you wanna um, you wanna close out? Mhm. I'm talking to you. Aileen said, "Brother L, will you close out?" Oh, I'll close out. Sure will. Okay. Um, uh, so, uh, tell everybody, don't forget about the 28th to 29th. Uh, the order, uh, this evening is the order of uh, Mechizedek. And keep on buying the products. Dr. Eileen, 
www.dr.eileen.com and uh, you have anything else you want to add on uh, uh, Sister Goddess well God we do have somebody who finally raised their hand because I love talking to the people Um, it's area code 520 area code 520 you are on the line Hey, Mom, sister, uh, this this is uh, Nicholas, Nico, uh, and actually Nicole is. Uh, I, hear you, I hear you out there butchering me up uh, so the nation can hear it, but uh, it's all love. Uh, I want to thank you and uh, 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 Dr. Aline for taking time out to uh, uh, spend some time with my uncle who uh, is in San Diego dealing with uh, a medical issue. Uh, I guess he must have talked to my mom, his older sister, because... Uh, she wanted to get on the call and a couple of other people, so I spent today uh, uh, passing my information about the uh, call today, so I was trying to get uh, more and more people to participate to start getting some of this information that I think is uh, highly necessary and needed. And also, uh, we do our open water dive Sunday at uh, one of the lakes out here, so I know you're familiar with what me and my daughter Imani is doing. All right. Yes, y'all, this is a wonderful daddy. You know, this brother makes sure his daughter knows that he loves her. And that's important. You don't have to worry about a daughter that's loved, you know, de- um, degrading herself when she gets older. She already know that daddy not going to accept that. So, and it's because of the father-daddy time, the father-daughter time. You know, it just really helps to make a whole well-rounded goddess. We need mommy and we also need daddy. And daddy is who we're going to fall in love with. That's who we're going to find because honestly... Eileen is so like my daddy. You know, because I got a great daddy. He a cancer. He's he July the, um, sorry, <laughs> we in June, wonderful. but he's July the 6th. And he is a wonderful daddy. I mean, he's just wonderful. perfect for us. Beautiful. You know, Beautiful. I know for Father's Day, I was getting tired. The Mercedes had broke down, which was given to us. She had broke down, she, and she made me mad because I don't want to be broke down. We travel too much. What is you breaking down for? I know I leave left the trunk open the night before, but why is you doing this? You need to get it together. So I had to jog home to get my car. And then, you know, which I'm glad somebody had picked me up. But that's what happened, y'all. I don't want that. So, you know, I was angry with her. You know, so I leave. I was, I, I was like, look, let's just go home. I'm tired. So the next day, Eileen was like, your daddy is the only daddy I got. Mm-hmm. So that's when I was like, let me get up. We going to go see Daddy. <laughs> so, Daddy's is important. You know, y'all are important. Y'all got babies out here that y'all don't know and ain't seen. That ain't fair to you, and it definitely ain't fair to them. So, Nicholas, I know I'm bitchering it, because I don't want to call you your last Well, your last name is your last name, Mr. Hooker. <laughs> you know, but um, you, you are a wonderful Daddy. You know, and I just want you to be an inspiration to the other daddies out here that's wonderful, too. And then also the other daddies out here that's not, you know. You need a day going to send a card or something. If you and the mommy is tripping, y'all can't get along, then you need to send a card. And then also, too, we need to make sure that the next generation, the boys is coming up. And the boys is, you know, they you know they get going to want to get their rocks off, you know, or whatever. You want to make sure that they know about the whole scenario. Because you don't want them in a situation that's going to hem them up, or they're going to be with a female that you know they're not going to be with, and they got babies with, and it's going to be a situation where it's love and war about it. So, honestly, I can see why the Christian community be like, don't have sex before marriage. Because, honestly, the vagina molds to the first penis that is in her. So what if what if you done been with twelve and thirteen of them and now your husband ain't even you know what I mean feeling right to you I mean it's a science to that and I think that we need to go deeper so that we can understand that and brother Hooker I'm so glad that you called in and you know you said what you said because a lot of people don't see what's going on in behind the scenes like one sister she was able to cancel her breast chemotherapy issue because she had breast cancer. Her grandmother had it, and her auntie had it. See, that's something that's heredity. It runs in the family. The God is you, like, look, I'm not going to do this. I don't want to do the doctor. I want to do something else. And then two weeks later, 
It was dang on pulling, dang on mass out of breath. And yes, it was painful, because no pain, no gain, but it was just beautiful. And I hope that she one day get on here and tell y'all about it, because that's her story. But, Brother Hooker, if you want to say something, your line is still open. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, my mom, she got uh, um, diabetes and stuff, so she got a couple of little medical things that she's going to be dealing with. And, um, like, uh, one one thing that we really didn't discuss when me and you talked is um, um, my uh, mom's family are uh, Cherokee and um, my my dad's family are, are Seminoles. So, mm. so we just need to get back to some traditional uh, dealing with things and... Um, uh, I think that's why I'm pushing for our family to get more involved with the uh, proper understanding of information that's available to us now. Because when my mom was younger, maybe it wasn't uh, uh, the communication or maybe she didn't have an opportunity to get this stuff. But now we have the information. I, you know, I told them, you guys, uh, information, tell them to call and talk to you so that they can be brought up to speed about a lot of these types of things. Even though it's done uh, over the phone, uh, it's information where they just take their notes, go back, do their own due diligence, and start putting some of these things into practice. And that's what I'm trying to do with my daughter, just get her exposed to everything so that there's no blocks and no limitations on her mind as far as what she can and can't do. Mm-hmm. Mm. Beautifully said, God. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> that was just beautiful. Um, so, we have another person here, that wants to get in thing. on the cipher. And, um, so, I'm, I'm, every code 601, every code 601, you are on the line. Hello? Hello? Yes, hello, hey, what's going on? What's going on with it? Uh, uh, um, this is Jamal Malik calling in from Jackson, Mississippi. Okay. Um, I would just... Uh, yeah, I came in. Uh, I came in on like the last end of it, and I didn't really just get to hear about the Shecon, but you know, this is um, a little bit about my situation. Uh, you know, I got some, you know, like a nerve disorder going on where you know, say it really have affected me, but I'm doing a lot better. But you know, I done went to the doctor and the, and the uh, neurologist and everything like that, and they done, and they still seeing that they, you know, there's really nothing wrong. You know what I'm saying? With my nervous system in my back, my spine, my neck, and everything like that. But I'm still having muscle spasms. And from what they said, from what they looked at, it looked like I had like a little mini stroke. And, you know, this affected when the way it affected me, it affected me uh, psychologically. You know what I'm saying? Just like my thinking and my perception of reality. But I'm doing a whole lot fine. But I want to get back to that 100%. Because I say I'm like at 80 but I'm, I get up, I do my running early in the morning, you know, my exercise is stretching. And um, I also, you know, late at night, I also meditate and stuff like that. But it's kind of like messing with my, my meditation life. And and because it's because it's dealing with my nervous system. And from my, you know, that's the way your information transfers to your body. Then I understand a lot. That's a lot of just about where that's how that, you know, how that spirit, soul, body connect there and and it's so irritating to me because I was just so on the into my inner self and had that connection but ever since this infraction has went on it's just it, it bothers me and I was just wondering more about this you know I should call I don't know if I'm saying it right but would that do good for that is that a meditation or medication or uh, what is it Yes, God, it'll definitely um, help to add on. And I'm glad that you're at 80% because you've been, um, you know, been trying to do your meditations and your working out and stuff. I don't know what your blood type O is. I don't really know what your situation is. But I know what experiences we've been through. And one of Eileen's best friends, um, he also had a nervous issue about eight years ago. And he, he said he just remembers trying to put the key now this is a big god this god is huge he's a vegetarian but he is still huge like he don't eat no meat but he's still huge and he he said he remembered trying to put his key in the door barely getting home just trying to put his key in the door and he couldn't turn the key and he was like it was like he just tried to squeeze it with his thumb and his and his and his fit you know just trying to dang on get this door unlocked he just 
with his big old self fell to the ground and just cried, just slid to the ground and just cried, you know? And I remember when he told us this story, Eileen was like, what you need is nerve tonic. You need to go to GNC or, you know, the vitamin shop. You need to get the nerve tonic. And the brother ain't had no problem since. What it is sound like to me, if it were me, it sound like you ain't getting the nutrients you need, which it makes sense because a lot of the food don't have the nutrients in it that we need. So I would take if I were you, dandelion, because it has all twelve nutrients, cell salts, and I would take the dandelion in my dandelion. my yard, growing close to my house, because you have a symbiotic relationship with your plants. And the, you know, like when you breathe out um, carbon dioxide, they need that, and then they give right. us oxygen. So it's a relationship going on whether people acknowledge it or acknowledge it or not. So oh, I would take uh, dandelion, make myself some dandelion tea. Um, yeah, you, it's a nutrient you're not getting. That's all. That's all. I like and so I, we and gotta I, be and sick. I, I'm talking about damn near about to die for them to be able to find what's wrong with us did, because. Did, uh, yes. Yes, ma'am. Huh? You know, that's what I'm, I say. Yeah, that's kind of like what I'm getting, getting from the doctor. You know what I'm saying? It's just like I'm a, a, a due case. Most, most, most of the time, they just want to give you some pills and send you on about mm-hmm. your business. But I'm not looking for that. I'm looking to be uh, uh, 100% healthy. You know what I'm talking about? That body, spirit, mind, and 100% mm-hmm. healthy because that's the because that's right. the way to live. And right. but you know, I drink plenty of water. Uh, I'm from I guess I'm from Mississippi, so greens and and cabbages and stuff like that. That's the norm. I eat my my or my fruits in the morning when I get through running. I drink plenty of plenty of water. But you know what I'm saying? It just feel like you know, just like little sharp little lightning pains like in my head, kinda of like sort of and like I say, it's gonna went down severe. But I'm just trying to say is it a meditation where I can clear that nervous system out or that nerve tonic will um and just to get that just to function and back right I will they take will it take time because I'm gonna work at it I'm not giving up on nothing because I know I can heal myself but I'm just caught in there chicken with the other brothers and you know just trying to see if I can get any type of advice well um I feel like I gave you what a, what I would do you know and I feel like because it works with worked for others you know, it's right. just okay. that simple, God. You know, um, it's called the Nerve Tonic, and you can get it. It's in a homeopathic product at GNC, and I know that immediately helped God. We also helped another sister who had fibromyalgia. She had to take some herbs and stuff. So your body is it's something that your body's not getting in the water, okay. in the nutrients, in the vitamins that you're receiving from um, the fruits and vegetables that you're eating. You know, a lot of us are not growing our own fruits and our own vegetables, you know. So I know there are 12 nasty vegetables and fruits that you are supposed to rinse thoroughly. Like, they could cause you to get sick. Like, they're strawberries because people are handling the strawberries. Hundreds of people are handling, well, at least dozens right, of people are, are handling yeah. the strawberries. Then putting it right on the shelf and then weeding it. They have a Love lot of germs that shit. Strawberries hold a lot of um, bacteria. It can be a bacteria that kills the whole strawberry crop. They hold funguses and stuff. You know? Um, another um, plant, um, excuse me, another um, fruit that does this is um, lemons. It's touched lemons. by dozens of people. Oranges. Dozens of people. Tangerines. So, see, we sit up here peeling it off and then eating it. Who washes the inside of their lemon? But you touching the outside to peel it, and then you touching it, the rest of the inside, and you just go to eating it. You see? So what parasites, um, what pesticides are on there, and who just got finished scratching their self, you know what I mean, or digging up their nose, and touching this, and putting right. it in the, who just got finished sweat, wiping their sweat, and, put, and, and then putting it in the, um, you know, and, and, and lemon trees and orange trees, most fruit trees have thorns on them. So, see, it could even be some blood um, cells on this fruit. You see, so I'm, I'm, I know I'm getting kind of, like, technical, you know, but rats and scorpions. As a matter of fact, there was a scorpion that bit a boy in Walmart when he was digging in the banana um, 
um, box to put them on display. You know, and in rats, they be all up and around and stuff, and roaches and stuff, and roaches and stuff. They got a lot of bacteria on them. Sure. So they ain't necessarily got to be in your house, but they could have been at the grocery store, you know, in the back, where they be at, or on the truck. So are we washing our fruits and our vegetables properly? Because they can give us parasites. And how you wash them properly is with hydrogen peroxide food grade. You know, or some people put um, apple cider vinegar. You know, they'll put that because also they put wax on the stuff so it can be shiny. You know, how is our wax going to affect your immune system? You know, you say you was late, but you can go back and listen to the show. If you need me to um, text it to you, all you got to do is just, you know, um, email me or text me at 910-364-9099. And I'll, I'll, I'll send you the show so you can listen to it, but I dropped a lot of jewels. But nerve tonic is what I would use for myself. And I got to say it like that because that's a disclaimer. You really can't give medical advice if you ain't took, you know, in this society. You really can't say you're curing nothing. They'll come and get you for that. And I do have, right. like, um, like I can use, like, my indigenous status, you know. But well, who's my army that's going to come and help and enforce that? You know, if I get a judge that's having an attitude, I still might end up in there. I just was lucky that my spirit, you know, gave me the lessons in court that I was able to get out of, you know. And I was able to utilize the indigenous information in order to save me. But it ain't no silver bullet, you know. So I don't want to get myself into a situation that's on recorded line that I'm talking about medical advice for somebody. But I know what I would do if I were you. I would use nerve tonic. I would also be taking me some dandelion. And I'm telling you, that right there, help. So I'm just going to be honest. I had to stop blazing. And I love herbs. I love <laughs> Mary Jane. I loved her ever since I met her. <laughs> <laughs> me and you both. <laughs> and um, I can't because She's a real good friend. Pops. I'm telling you, my dad's on heart freaking pop. It pops. And then for two days, I couldn't like freaking heart move, pop. and I'm almost about to cry because I can't be with her no more. Because I can't do stupid stuff. But so, and that was like two to three months ago. And I got to take cayenne pepper every day because I'm feeling this in my heart because my heart pops. You see, so it's stuff that we do, and this stuff ain't the same as when our grandma and uncle and them was with it. She's not the same. She look different. She don't got seeds. They ain't going to do stuff to her that ain't right. And we original people. We not hybrid. Right. So we ingesting hybrid v- vegetables and fruits, and we ingesting hybrid herbs to help us cope yep. with this, this reality. And we wondering why our organic... Indigenous origin, original bodies ain't functioning at a hundred percent. This is right. why I can't right. stress enough the the fire that I want to see up underneath you, so that we can change our world. Because mm-hmm. the world that is in front of us is not conducive to our health, our our mindset. You know, I love I love my mother, but when I look at these videos on YouTube about these Christians, they looking like they possessed. They are. And I gotta I gotta I gotta um I gotta finesse my conversation even though I'm seeing that this is looking like it's crazy. Like, it's and you can't talk right. to them about it. And you can't talk to them about nothing. I stay true. Yeah, I'm, I'm all about my. I'm all about myself in Mississippi, and I, I well, just they can't ain't understand you. It's like you begin to talk a foreign language. Remember, you doing I'm, what you doing? You doing chai, chai, mm-hmm. chai chi? You meditating? You're, You're not just right. praying. You meditating? So see, their yeah. brain ain't cells ain't even activated. They can't understand what you're saying. So guess what? End up in an argument. When they never going to understand you, and now you done deteriorated the relationship. And we need the elders. Yeah. So guess I, what? I, I don't want to see you deteriorate the relationship. It is what it is, right? It is what yeah. it is. And you live yeah. and you learn. So thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. To your mama. Because you don't want All her right. to, She can't understand that Jesus is your rule. 
No. She, she don't care about that. She watching Jerry Springer. That's what her <laughs> nah. mom nah. tells us that. I almost, got kicked, out. I almost got kicked out the house when I said I'm Jesus. Oh, See? boy. You, you they, they weren't you ready for that. Stuff. Yeah. Starting <laughs> stuff. You ain't paying no bills in the house. You know you got to pay the cost to be the boss. No, you ain't right. Jesus. She, she almost had a heart attack. You know how disappointed you made her when you said that? Whoa. Walk on walk on water, nigga. Whoa. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I, I but I'm like I say, I just you know I'm I'm, I'm cool with that, and I love just calling in and just listening. And I trust me, and we all connected, so I'm no. You need to go alone. apologize to your mama, cause see, oh, man, your mama I, didn't I, I, I'm that. Pad. We and I bet you she couldn't this. sleep that night. You know how much stress you put on her heart when you said you was Jesus. You know how much praying she stayed up doing for you. And she didn't understand yes, she you, did. and you wasn't wrong. Right. <laughs> And she done talked about that to the ch- women in the church, and some of them she couldn't even tell because you done embarrassed her. Now she a preacher. Cut it out, your mama. Oh boy. That. She a, she a preacher. She a, she a preacher, but you know, so she uh, Lord she, have mercy. Uh, she 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 understands that there are a lot there's a lot more out there, and, and right now she's at a moment. I hear her on the phone all the time talking to her friend, saying that she just feel like she is. Like she can't get past another level, and I want to come to her and be like, wow. Mama, there is another level, and there is another level to go. Well, you, she, can't, like, she ain't gonna hear nothing. You say you talking about you, Jesus. And you know, I'm tired of that's it. it. They do feel stuff because it's a rendition that just is the same, and it don't make sense to them neither. Yeah. But they mama did it, and they mama's mama did it. But then, yeah, we all well, well, know. Come in the house, my mama ain't dead. I'm pregnant though. We know if that happened right now, we'd be like, now you lying, Heifer. I saw you in there with Justin, and you're lying. But we we, <laughs> we see it as truth every day. And and Mary was 13, and Joseph was 65. You see how that stuff don't fit? Then you sit up here watching all these pedophiles on the news. Right. It don't fit. Right. But you, it, but you ain't gonna, it ain't gonna work when you tell me your, your mama you Jesus and she the pastor of the church. No. Oh, but we we way past that, you know. They they they, they, they just look at me like I'm like I'm weird. Yeah, I get, they come up in my room. I got sacred geometry. I hold on my wild pictures of the ancestors, and they just you know they just act, act like you know to look at me just you know he, he just doing his thing, and I know just you know what I'm saying just to let them make it, and we and we gonna be fine. But I, get along with I want you to learn like how that. I sound like you have Because I noticed that the brothers When the women call me Like they'll have The brothers will have their moms call me And I give them a breathing technique Or I give them something You know to make them feel better So they can sleep at night Because they're dealing with something When you get older in this society It's like you're supposed to just get sick Because all the stuff is soda And you know what I mean The stuff that's been consumed So it's just inevitable But it's not If you're doing right you know, so I'll give them a little jewel, you know. But I noticed that the brothers, when they mamas call, they they have a relationship that be beautiful. It, that's what I wow. know. So y'all do know how to balance it. Because I'm telling you, y'all love y'all. Y'all is a genius. So I just want to, I just want to be like an inspiration to them, so we can we can go past that which is not logical, so we can add on. I don't want right. our our Chinatown to be the ghetto and the police yeah. killing our tails and killing us and it's, it, you know what I mean and you know and vice is all over the place because we got to cope with the foolishness. I want it to be like higher sciences and schools where our children is right. going and they loving their hair yeah. and you know we got dang on fruit stands because we got farmers that didn't grow it. You know we got fish markets and because because uh, the fish didn't been farm raised and we know they not eating chicken poop. You know, right? They eating you know they eating worms or something. That's from the earth. You know stuff they want to eat bugs, not dang on fish poop. <laughs> you know I want to see us adding on like this. You know, but we don't feel like we need to because our Christ don't look like us. We feel like we need to build their stuff up. Mm-hmm. We teach our children to go work for them. Go to college. Be in debt for 20 years. 
Mm-hmm. That's about the size of it. Get you a car that you're going to have to pay on every month and get you a mortgage that you're going to have until you die because that's what mortgage means. And don't know nothing about herbs and they outside for free. And I like to say this. They, the way, they are God's way of giving us what we need. They ride what around the dandelions look like? You remember I, 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 um, the dandelions when we was little? We used to be like, Molly walked around the road and her head popped off. And then you take your thumb and you pop the top of the um flower off and the yellow the, ye- the yellow part come off the head. Come off the head of the flower. That's the dandelion. Yeah. And then the dandelion, that's when it's ready, when the... um. When it's re- when it's yellow, but then when it gets a little older, it be the one that you blow. Remember, we call those the Santa Claus. Oh, okay. Oh, mm-hmm. oh, okay. All right, all right. So when's the best time to do it? When they like at the at the stage where you pick it up and blow, and they say you're supposed to make a wish. Hey, this when you, you I would say get that dandelion in you. Period. I don't care where it's at in your yard. You need it. Oh, because your body it's, it's plenty of them around here. Yeah, that's the that's the ancestors' way of saying y'all need this. And dandelion, you need to do the knowledge to it, God, because I can't I can't really give it to you like if you read it. But dandelion has all twelve nutrients, cell salts in it. It has everything in it that you need. You can just eat them. You can make you some dandelion wine if you like dandelion. You can just eat them. You can put them in your salads. And I they the best time to put it the leaves in your salad because they have like a sweet leaf taste when um when they have the the yellow flower. They real good for the eyes. The yellow flower is real good for your eyes. So like if somebody going blind. You know? I think we need to get back into our ancient indigenous medicine. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Because the people right now that's running the planet, they're the youngest on the planet, and they don't give a damn about you. What did Michael Jackson say? All I really know is that they don't really care about us. And he tried to change himself with his money to look like them. And he still saw that with all that money that they didn't care about us. You know? So, it's, it's solutions out here. Yeah, they remember these. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm gonna look in, man. I ain't, I'm gonna get a hundred percent. I have no doubt in my mind. I'm gonna do what's necessary, but I'm gonna go give me some dandelions tomorrow. It's raining down here. If it wasn't raining, I'd walk up the street right here to the field and give me some. Okay, <laughs> I like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Wash them jokes off real good, and then what you can do is you can take that root. Because the root be really expensive. The root be like more expensive than the leaves and stuff and the stem uh-huh. and the flower. You can get that root. You can wash that root off real good. And you can boil that joker and make you some tea. And that be what you drink throughout the week. You make you some dandelion tea. Just like you would make some Lipton tea. Except it's dandelion. And then you can sweeten it with whatever you want. I like to use maple syrup. But you can use whatever you want. As long as you get it up in you. You can use honey. Mm-hmm. You can use um, turbinando. You can use agave nectar. You can use whatever you want. But definitely make you some dandelion. I'm almost there. I'm almost definitely check that out. Though. And what's the other one you had said that you? The, oh, the, how can you spell? How you spell that word? You're talking point. about. It's a homeopathic product, but it has I'm been processed. And what you're supposed to do is. Um, you know what, Dr. Naughty call them particularly, but it's called homeopathic products, and it's a nerve tonic, and you're not supposed to touch them. You're going to put them in your cap of your, of your, um, of the bottle, and then you drop it underneath your tongue, and they have a little sweet taste, too, and they'll dissolve directly into your bloodstream, but it's called a nerve tonic, and it's a homeopathic product, and it comes from, it comes from the, um, nutrients of plants. But I appreciate y'all listening, though. You know, I just oh, tell I hate, I, I hate, I, I, hate I appreciate music, you. Though. I ain't going to miss it. I appreciate time. you, God. All right, all right, now y'all be good. You too, God. Peace. 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 Mm. Brother Ed, we have had a great show. Yes, we have. had a great show today. We are on record mode. Um, If you want to add on, if you want to talk, if you want to comment, if you want to ask a question, feel free 
to do so by pressing the one on your phone, and we'll bring you on in. Brother L, we've been moving, like I said earlier, the shows to YouTube. And people comment once it's on YouTube. Like, they'll send us a comment, and it goes directly to the email. And this uh-huh. one sister named Cat Light, um, Kite Light, <laughs> Kite Light, she was like, Brother L is going in. I see Brother L is getting more confident, and he didn't add it. Oh, he was feeling that show. <laughs> well, tell I, I appreciate didn't get to that. tell you that, but I definitely wanted to, you know, <laughs> appreciate it. tell you that. That's very appreciated of him. Got some fans out there, Brother L. You might get to a wife now. <laughs> and let the let the other leave your 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 uh, your king alone, huh? <laughs> <laughs> they trying to respect me a little more, brother L. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> they trying to respect oh. me a little more because I told Ali, I'm like, babe, you know, if you do this and this and that, then they'll feel like they violating and they won't, you know, they won't do it. But if they feel like, shoot, I can get on up in there, they going to. I just had to tell them, and I'd be like, Barry, the grass ain't greener on the other side. It might be wider, it might be larger, it might be smaller, but it damn sure ain't greener. <laughs> I didn't say, anyway, go to the next caller. <laughs> There's oh, somebody who wanted to talk, and it's um, area code 313. You are on the line. Hello, hello. This is Wally from Detroit. B, how you doing? Um, I want. Hey, I, I wanted. To, I had a question. Um, you were just talking about the uh, dandelion root and making a tea out of it. Now, um, I and you say do it from your yard. Now, I, a couple years ago, I had true green. I just want to know how long uh, is it good to even use anything that's growing out of that dirt? You know what I'm saying? I had I had the true green chemical. Uh, you know, so they can kill weeds on my lawn, but I haven't had it in a couple of years, so I'm just wondering if it's safe to even eat those dandelions from that um, lawn now. Well, it's been a couple of years, so that's good. That's really good because people do like to use Roundup and stuff like that, which right. does poison the earth, you know. Um, and yep, dandelions are considered weeds that are not sufficient, but they really aren't. They are so good for your body but if it has been years and they're growing then I would say that it will be safe I would say because a lot of time that poison and stuff it stays there and it kills it through the whole you know I, I believe like sometimes you can get it for three months six months or 12 months duration yeah. and if you spray it then it'll be dead so the fact that they're growing there I think that they right. that I would say they should be good especially since it's been okay. two years you know okay 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 but definitely the ones that are growing in your yard because you talk outside like when you're on the phone or getting in your land transport you know what i mean or when you walk into the Mm -hmm. mailbox you are going outside and and they are getting an interaction with you the plant right you know right so yeah i know i know when the lean spoke on it uh i think i've heard it either i don't think it was the last show or one of his shows, I heard him speak on it, huh? and um, and I was like, "What? Fall twelve? Tell us something." I was like, "Okay, I'm gonna go in and outside and uh, pick some boys up because I mean I got a ton of them, and um, so I'm going to pick them up." Um, oh, another question though. Um, the seeds it, are there certain? Uh, do you know good companies that are reputable companies that actually sell? True organic non GMO seeds. Can you recommend any companies or spots? Yeah, um, matter of fact, there is um, a company where it's an elder sister um, and she has seeds. I like to get my seeds from her. Um, Southern, um, let's see, hold on, because I know it's in my email. Let me see, everything's in my email. Southern Exposure Seed Exchange. Okay. Yeah, okay. Really, really yeah, good. Re- um, and then also okay. too, um, also um, the whole whole food stores, and then also the farmers markets. You know, also right. too, how you can tell if your stuff is okay. Like, um, if you buy some organic greens, 
you know how you cut the greens away from the core at the bottom? Well, you can right. put the core in some water. And if it sprouts, mm-hmm. then that was alive. You see? Oh, okay. Got you. Yeah, you can just put it in okay. some water in the window. And then you can grow your own, um, you can grow some more greens from it. Okay, okay. Yeah. Cool. You know, so once it starts being root, you can put it in like um, dirt and water mix, and then you can put right. it outside, or you can, you know, just continue to just nurture it and you know grow it in the crib, in the window. Okay. Um, you can do that with okay. all the um, the root vegetables. Are those root vegetables? Root of leaves like celery, um, lettuce, um, carrots. So do that like the top of the carrot does it and it'll give you the seeds it'll sprout seeds mm-hmm. it won't regrow a carrot but it will sprout you some seeds and then also the green right. peppers they have seeds in them and then the tomatoes they have seeds in them too and the eggplants what I like to do like when I'm preparing food I will put the seeds to the side of the vegetables that I'm right. eating and then I sprout them so that right. way you can you know what they say kill two birds with one stone you're already right. going to buy the vegetables but instead of, you know, consuming all the seeds or throwing them away, you have your seeds mm-hmm. now. Right, right. Makes sense. Um, but yeah, and, and then, and like, if you begin to grow a green pepper with seeds, then you can utilize the green pepper's babies, the green pepper's peppers, mm. and save those seeds, too. Mm. And then use those green pepper's peppers... <laughs> And then <laughs> save those seeds too, and then those become heirloom seeds, and they become more valuable. Oh, oh wow! Mm-hmm. Okay. Wow. Yep. So that's what okay. the science of heirloom seeds are. So, okay. yeah. Cool. Great question. Um, now, now one more though. Um, now back to the uh, dandelion. Now, is there a limit? Like, can you literally make a? a big stupid salad out of just dandelion greens or or is there a limit that you should be having to oh, eat it no. though, like you, you know what I'm saying it's like you can't eat just one potato chip <laughs> you can't <Right>. over eat <laughs> you can't mess up I think with greens either um oh. you can make a yep you can make a big stupid salad <laughs> dandelion <laughs> leaves just rinse them off okay. really really good you know because of the chemtrails but shoot you also have the same chemtrails that are falling on your grass going into your system. And the wonderful thing is that greens are still growing. So they will give you antibiotics or antibodies that will protect you also from the chemtrails. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Look at you spitting the knowledge tonight. Great job. <laughs> I know, right? Um, the guy, you know, I can't reflect him if I ain't, you know. <laughs> you know, right, so you got to exactly. reflect it, your God and vice versa. Just like y'all are one. Yeah. No doubt, no doubt. All right, well, peace, you. God, God. Thank you for the love. All right, God. peace, peace, God. All right. Peace. Anybody oh, else the, um, God, you in Detroit. Your line is still on. Um, God, you still there? Um, I don't know if he's going to play back and listen to this, but to all to our okay. Detroit family, we had a brother that actually, um, paid for Eileen to be on the TV in Detroit. Oh. He was coming on every Sunday for 28 minutes, and we saved and preserved all of those. Cause it was like $10,000. God just was like, bam! Um, and gave it to the dang on radio station. And... And it was on, and it was popping, and we saved it. So you can go to DrAleemElBay.com, and you can go to Dr. Aleem El Bay on TV. And they also on the YouTube channel, too. He talks about an array of things, how Obama was not the first melanated president. So please, y'all, we got to stop showing our ignorance. We can't right. expect nobody to tell our version of the story. So you got to right. need your story so you can tell it. Actually, Obama was the 20th Sorry, the 21st melanated president. Mm. Yeah. You know, my, oh my goodness, he's our first black president. Mm. You just don't know how you sound then. You know, we can't, we can't, we can't do that. We got to tell our version of the story. We got to know it like the back of our hand. Exactly. 
Exactly. Matter of fact, you know, Alima always says it, but we did. We went to London and we was all throughout the museum. The man was like, Stop touching the stuff. <laughs> and I was like, Oh my God, but I just never touched it. I never been so close to my ancestors' ancient relics. I'm telling you, this stuff was powerful. So he told me to stop touching it. And there was this box. And I stuck my head in it. And I immediately went to a meditation, like, stay standing there. I seen a Buddha. I seen some people in Kemet. And Shorty had on some real Victoria's Secret stuff, just like Bobby Hemmings say. They did. I was like, oh, my God. I took my head out. And I was like, oh, my God, stick your head in there. And everybody started sticking their head in there. And the curator, he was watching me. And he was curling his little face up. And I was like, oh, my God. Y'all, you are so lucky because you're around all this stuff. And immediately his energy changed, and he was like, "If you like your stuff in here, we got a whole bunch of y'all stuff in Scotland." Mm. <laughs> Good stuff. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so it's just like the whole world is waiting for us to add on. Yeah. You know. They're waiting for us to add on. And when we add on, they're going to give it to us because actually it was preserved. Because we gave it to them because we was acting up, y'all. We was acting up. So we gave it to the lesser of two evils. Do you give it to a god who's a genius with a dome piece of a a, um, a dump truck? Forehead (laughs) and head just huge. Just a big-headed scientist who's gone mad. Or do you give it to a caveman who ooga boogas and using his dang on teeth as currency and wants red nails and red, red, rare meat? Which do you mm. give it to? You choose mm. the lesser of the two evils. So that's what happens. So when you walk in your divinity, you'll receive your divinity. And then right. we even was given like... um. We was given the ability to, um, the man was like, oh, my God, I know y'all are leaving. Another guy was like, I know y'all are leaving, but we'll come and get you next time. We'll send a car for you, and we'll feed you, and we'll take you downstairs. It was that type of energy. Mm, like, oh, my God, man. really? That's like, beautiful. yeah. Wow. I'm telling you, because when I rubbed Hunt Hopkins' face, it was so big. His whole face was as big as my body, bigger. When I rubbed his face, I could, like, feel the pulse. That's another thing, family. We need to be traveling. Your mind is open so much up when you've gone places. Even if you just got to go somewhere in, you know, in the States, get out of your comfort zone and go somewhere else. Um, I would say read Psalms 21 and 22 because that's for safe travel, you know, so that you don't have no, you know, unencumbered travels. But get, get your mind open by traveling. I can't express right. that enough. You right, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you get a chance to see that the world does not think of you the same way as, you know, what's here. You know, I've been to France. Going? My mom sent me with her little coins when I was in high school. And it was amazing how they love us over there. Oh, really? You know, and then I started seeing that they even gave us the Statue of Liberty after slavery. To, to, to apologize, to give their condolences for what we had been through. And here, they kept it in the box. And they were like, we ain't dang on putting that up in the Empire State. You crazy? You need to make them right. features in here. You need they to make keep. that nose thinner and them lips thinner. What is you doing? They love you. I love bet you we France, won't huh? put it up. They love us. <laughs> no, huh? they did. They, they, they um, twerked it to fit them. Mm. But the truth still remains. So they love so us in France, you know. huh? Yeah. Oh, they mm. love us in France. In Germany, oh my God. Well, the brothers already know the German women be like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> they love some brothers. Oh, really? And then oh, okay. even in um, Africa, Morocco, you know? In Australia. We met people who were like, yo, we just, wow. Thank you for going through what you've gone through. And thank you for what your ancestors have given us. Because if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be where we are. Hmm. You said I'm so I want us to be inspired by that. And I want us to not be discouraged. And I want us to add on. 
And if it ain't nothing but putting some seeds in the window in your dang old apartment, you know, do it right. and smile. And you be like, yeah, I'm going to be eating on you, so. <laughs> you know? I'm going to be I'm gonna be able to grow my own food. I'm going to be able to feed right. myself. I'm not going to be a useless eater. Because right. that's how they see us as useless eaters. Right. And that's right. why the food ain't got no nutrients in it, because they don't care. They ain't no. eating it. See more, more, more of us down. The more the happier they are. Yeah. Uh, that's that's the plan anyway. Yeah. And they feel like what do they not they're not real people no way. So what do they need with real food? Damn. You know. So I mean, especially those that are call themselves black, African Americans, and people of color. You know, they are artificial people. What do water fish a person need with Medicare? Uh, or, 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 or proper education? You know, what do they need with that? What do you do with people right. like that? Fictitious people. What do you do with fictitious people? People that are not real, what do you do? Do well, what they keep on doing? You may handle them and they babies. See, they ain't got a national See what's great, you know. Mm-hmm. I'll eat all this hybrid food, you know. <clears throat> it doesn't have any life to one. Yeah. And they're constantly, constantly, constantly doing away the way to feed it watermelons every day and grapes. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and the so corn you know, is hybrid and it's difficult to digest, and that's why when you when you consume it and you um, then eliminate it, it's still whole. Yeah. Your body couldn't digest it. Why? What have they? What have, what have they done to it? What have they done to it? You know. But it's and I know it feels like it's a lot, but it's not. It's not a lot, and it's not hard. It is not hard for us to fix our situation. Everything we have, we everything we need, we have it in each other. Oh yeah. yeah. All we gotta yeah. do is utilize it. That's all. Yeah, we're just distracted with you know the TV shows and the game and punching the clock and sickness. Just distracted. And once we get back to, I say, you know, the God energy, the goddess energy, then. We'll see that it'll be better off. The world will be better off. I saw a video, and oh my God, these children were jumping on each other. They was like dancing, and that's they were just j- jumping their genitals on each other. They had clothes mm. on, but that's what they was doing. They was jumping on, like off the wall into each other's stuff. And I'm like, whoa. See, that's just the energy. Just that y'all need to raise the energy. <laughs> wow. That's all. That that energy, like we were talking about earlier, needs to be raised up this final column right. and utilized to create. That's right. And right now, they, it, the energy is trying to be perverted, you know? Yes, it is. They are pushing all sorts of energy that's not that's not conducive oh. to life. No, all in your movies. Yin and yang is video. not going to create life. And yang and yang is not going to create life. No. You can't put two plugs, two male plugs together and get electricity. Nope. Nope. It won't happen. It's not going to happen. And you no. can't put two electric, no, two magnetic plugs together and get electricity. It's not going to happen. You're not, no. two sockets, two yeah, sockets put against see? each other is not going to bring no electricity. You just, you, just, you just drop that science right there. It, no. So that's how you know. If life can be manifested from this situation, if if it's if it's divine or not, but in this society now it's like you can't even speak negatively against it. Like you can't even no. give your opinion. I don't, no. I don't condone hurting nobody. People gonna do what they want to do. Right, but they got it set up like that. Is now. it perverted? Are we gonna pervert things? Is that what we're doing now? You know, that, that, that you see it. Like I said, you see the. Uh, Almost a crime to say uh, anything that's ne- uh, 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 against negativity or anything that's negative now. 
against you know, life. Mm-hmm. Right. You know. So now you can get sued for that. Almost. Yeah, and people have been. You know. <laughs> and being called, called homophobic, you know, just because you're against homosexuality. You know, not against the people that are homosexual, but I'm against what they're doing. I definitely think that putting it in the school system um, and teaching it to the curriculum um, to kindergartners, that's a bit much. Like, I mean, come on now. Yeah, they're doing (laughs) that. that, Come on now. I mean, how are you justifying that? Because I know when we were in kindergarten, we didn't learn that. We was coloring. Right. We was coloring the alphabets and stuff. Stuff like that. I'm dealing with nothing, nothing close to that. But now it's being implemented into the curriculum? Mandatory? Yeah. Wow. So see, as you can see, it's a deterioration of the moral fibers. And it's because the the oldest people on the planet, the mothers and fathers of all civilizations, ain't adding on like they could. Period. No. And how we're going to add on is you going to do it. Right. And if you, you can't get, get a group to do it, then do it on your own. Do it on right. your own. Exactly. You know, got to get back to what our ancient foremothers and four forefathers was about. You know, we got to get back to that. Because if we yeah. don't, we won't survive. So I mean, uh, is somebody on the, on the line? I wish. I wish somebody would press oh, okay. one. <laughs> Okay, I but I think everybody's oh. listening. Okay. Um, but um, brother L, mm-hmm. unless somebody want to press one, I want to go. I've been I've been burning leaves and cleaning okay. up all day, and, oh. and I'm tired. Yes, of course. <laughs> okay, queen. Yeah. All right, sister goddess. Uh, like I said, uh. I sound off. Uh, if anybody want to call, I'll, I'll just call Dr. Eileen uh, Kadira Bay. At, uh, the phone number is 910-364-9099. Again, okay. 910-364-9099. Uh, uh, and uh, if you in, if the, you in the, um, the St. Louis area, then call Brother L. Exactly. What's your number, guys? 314 314- Four four two five. Please call. That's three one four six four 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 two five. Y'all know we love y'all. We're doing this for the people, and we're gonna stay giving solutions. And until next time, it's the Aline Bay Show. If you wanna know, check the Aline Bay Show. Peace and love, y'all. Peace and love.